Ecological issues, they affect us all. And so, tonight on Second Nature, we'll be recycling some old nature footage. which I know you're gonna laugh at this, but I did not know that this was a real fucking thing until CIA hole brought this up because a buddy of his got the same thing a couple years ago. And uh, I know what a lot of you're gonna ask, like, and I get this all the time, do you consider yourself a low count? No, I don't. Even though people call me that, I will never consider myself that. But 
I actually ended up getting this randomly in the mail. Like, yeah, boy, did man. We on our way, dude. Ten years ago, man, I could dream of saying. I never thought I'd see one of these. But yet, here we are, man. On our way to success, baby. Got this. Ladies and gentlemen, let's change scenes, and there we are. Folks, thank you for joining me this evening, yet another Thursday night. I'm feeling all right, ready to get this going, folks. we got a tight little show for you tonight. we got some Von Helton. we got, oh my goodness, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. As you can see, Cyrax has received the Golden Lulz Cow. He claims he got it like last week or something. We'll check in on Cyrax. There's been a lot going on with Cyrax. Uh, there's just no way I could cover it all tonight. Caught again with his hand in the cookie jar. He found Jesus. Uh, Jesus. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on with Cyrax. Someone had suggested maybe doing a Cyrax catch-up, which I don't mind. If you guys would like to see something like that, leave it in the comments. I just find that this audience generally can only take so much Cyrax, so uh, I try to keep it down a little bit. But if it's something you'd like to see, because there's lots of stuff out there to catch up on right now. We could definitely do that. What do we got? We got a uh, sushi baconator by the Cobes. I was going to cover the hot dog thing, but I thought a sushi baconator sounded very in, very intriguing, so I thought I would check that out. Oh, geez. We got uh, a new Shanny update. Unfortunately, apparently a friend or her cousin or something died of a drug overdose, so she's coping with that in sh true Shanny style. I mean, that is sad. I, I mean, I, I wouldn't want to hear that with anybody, really. Oh, Jeepers, what else we got? A little bit of Nick. He's got some drama. He's kicking up. He's fighting with Carrie now. Well, he has been for a little bit, I guess. Uh, what else? Oh, just, like I said, oh, we got a new Dan Larson incident. This time it's Walmart uh, being escorted out by the cops. Um, geez whiz, like I said, I'm just looking through the list. So much, so much, too much, folks, to even list. We just, just got to do it. We got the usual gang of characters. We got the cast of characters. I should say we got targeted citizen. A little bit of this, a little, a little hodgepodge, folks, tonight. So if you wouldn't mind thumbsing it up, but first things first, let's. I'm not going to waste time. Let's just get right into it. Mm -mm -mm. So Von Helton apparently was online today. I heard it was kind of boring, but it does show us this is the 14th. He said he was getting his... I don't know. It gets confusing with Vaughn because he was talking about his internet in April, and I swore he said by this month. Now, that might just be the deadline to pay the bill, not get cut off. I thought he said he was going to get cut off. I don't know. But he's still online. Surprise, surprise. So, And I'm sure he will be in April, too, folks. Don't underestimate the cockroach. Anyways, let's... Uh, Let's tear into a little bit of this. It's like honey. I like to buy honey and then I kiss it on the lips, folks. Mmm. Oh, that is good. That is good, folks. Sorry, folks. If you wouldn't mind thumbsing it up and all that good stuff, I sure would appreciate it. But let's get on with the show, folks. It's your one-stop shop. Let's go. Oh, it would probably help if I had the volume up. You know. <laughs> oh, we got to start that one again. He's a little, he's a little wound up, folks. Don't cut, okay? You know. <laughs> he's, he's trying to get. He's gonna knock the fuck out. You got it. Hey, yeah, knock the fuck out, punk boy. I started sending him to Jimmy Owens. 
everything how it is of uh, best of uh, kills you all of when you locked up through everything owns die all punks great dead best kills you all <laughs> that fucking Chinaman got knocked the fuck out. <laughs> fucking Chinaman. Much love to the fans. Much love to the women. We hate Chinaman. 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 Fucking Orientals is ugly. As through it all, Czechoslovakia got a dogs through it all as a Chinaman. As through it all, how it is y'all known as now the slack corn nips is a new code. I hate fucking nuts. We'll be right back after these messages. The most targeted citizen. Get here. Let me know you're here. Say holla. Working day. The unemployed life. Anybody else know the unemployed life? That's a life where you work every single day. You work harder than... than 20 average bears and those 20 average bears say you ain't got a job that's the life I live out hustling today hauling a um, taking that roof that frame for a roof that was at my rental property when we moved in been thinking of a way to move it I didn't want to cut it but I had to cut it because it's too wide, too tall. So we cut it in half. It's uh, behind us with a few telephone poles. What's up, Vito? I'm always working, man. Isn't it amazing how the sheep say, you ain't got a job, you're a welfare recipient. But every time you guys see me, I'm sweating. It's 30 degrees and I'm sweating. I guess it's because I'm fat, lazy. What's up, Eric? Long time no hear from you, buddy. I guess I'm fat, lazy, and I'm a meth head, right? <laughs> no, it actually means that you're working under the table, quote unquote, working, uh, while collecting benefits. I think that's the criticism. If these people knew what it took to be my age and work the way I do, I think that's the main thing, buddy. I think that's the main thing is seeing me in action emasculates these little weasels. That's got to be it because that's all the trolls can say. You're unemployed. You don't work. Yet every day I'm working, right? It emasculates them. And listen, these are the people that all the studies are about. What studies am I talking about? The studies about they're turning the frogs gay. What's up, Mossy Man? It's about the stuff that's in the water. These these biological males that have been neutered by their mommy and daddy's diets they gave them. They fed them freaking caffeine, candy bars, and Xbox, and it ruined them. So when they see a man, they're like, oh, that's, that's out of the ordinary. You shouldn't be working like that at 48 years old. You, no, no, you ain't got a job. You, you must be lazy. And just like the Bible says is, evil is good and good is evil in the end times. So when you're out working, and, and this is one thing that I especially learned from the Democrat Party. They always accuse you the crimes that they're doing. Democrats are evil. Republicans are evil, too. Like pockets of Mountain Dew. That's right, Vito. I didn't have that stuff, man. When I was a kid, my dad would beat my ass if I ate more than one sandwich in the afternoons because they starved at school. See, these kids, they don't understand. When I was in kindergarten, I literally, not figuratively, I literally rode my bicycle a mile to school and a mile back. Why? Because I wanted to. I wanted to. And it's in kindergarten. And guess what else? What they called people my age back then? 
They called us latch key kids. We had a little key went around our necks on a keychain. And when we got home, we would take that, open the door, and walk in. And our homes were our homes at, in kindergarten. Now the government says, oh, you just we just can't trust these kids alone. It's a dangerous world. You can't be alone until you're 14. Well, then we wonder why all these Adderall-addicted moonbeams. And listen, if you take Adderall, I'm sorry that it happened to you. And I've, sometimes it works good. But the main reason for all these drugs that was to get you addicted, to make you more susceptible to drugs. And that's unfortunate because a lot of good people are hooked. And, and they've relied on that. And the main reason they want to prescribe these drugs when you're so young is as you age and as you mature, you create coping mechanisms in your mind and your chemical, chemical structure your body gives you what you need to cope with the mental and physical stresses that you're under. Your body is a hospital. God created you with a medical clinic inside. He created you with vaccine makers. He created you with doctors inside your body. So what we've done, just like with the transgender crap that's going on, we want to cut the boobs off girls. We want to cut the penises off little boys. We want to permanently sterilize them when the majority of them when they get 18 years old they're like I, I was just confused but well, everybody's confused when you have a new chemical pulsing through your veins testosterone and estrogen when you have a new chemical just like a drug when you have that new chemical you have to adjust to it many people don't give them time to adjust because why because mom and daddy want to rely on doctors. Mom and daddy want to do the easy work. Just give them a drug. Oh, he's antsy in school. Oh, he moves around. Give him drugs. Let's let's kill. Let's kill his creativity. Let's kill his energy. I used to fidget in school. I mean, I had the teacher slapped me in the with a pencil because I couldn't sit still because I had all that energy. But guess what? I still have all that energy, but back then, we didn't drug our children. We didn't do that. We didn't have to. We knew better. Thank God my parents did. Hey, listen. You could, you could diagnose him and say he's got ADHD. You could say that. But as the, 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 the comparison, the analogy I made before, just like Caesar Milan, he takes an active dog, an overactive dog, and puts it on a treadmill. Give them something to get their energy out. Mason told me now they don't have, they don't even some semesters during school they don't even have a gym. Why? Because they don't want them to fulfill their full potential physically or mentally. Did you know in China it starts in age kindergarten? They teach them in kindergarten how to disassemble, reassemble firearms. By the time they're in third grade, they're running drills in the city. They have a whole lot. We were playing dodgeball. They don't even do that anymore. We were playing fort with dodgeball. These kids are learning how to fight. In second, third grade, they're learning how to kill you. That's not even what they teach in these Islamic countries. And they're here now, too. We have four generations of Americans. They can't jump rope. You're exactly right. I mean, there was a, I mean, I don't know if you guys are old enough to remember the Presidential uh, Academic and Physical Achievement Award. I remember being targeted, being on this hit list, even when I was in school. So in third, fourth, I had a common class of third and fourth. I didn't have a big enough class for both, so they combined them together. I did the presidential achievement award. It's all these tests, climb a rope, jump a rope, run a mile, lift a certain amount of weight, just weird different things. And then when you get done with it, they give you this certificate with a presidential seal saying you have achieved physically and mentally what you should have done above and beyond the average in your classroom. So I blew everyone out of the water. And listen, this is how it was. This is not me beating, beating my own horn or bragging. but. When I was in elementary school, 
The teacher gave us an assignment to do during class. When you were done, you set your paper on the teacher's desk. So I was always top three running up there to put my paper on the desk. In gym class, I was first, second, or third to be picked to be on a team. You know, pick the boy, girl, boy, girl. I was the first, second, and third to always be picked because I was physically able. I was above average physically. And I was a little scrawny kid, but I was strong and I was fast. And I could think on my feet. I remember winning that presidential award and I wiped everybody out. And an occurrence happened with this little black chick came up. She's picking them on me. I can't remember the specifics. But I I told her off or pushed her off. Or, see, she was, I, I always endure bullying. Even, even when they're, when you're, when you're the smartest, when you're the most physical, they, you can still get bullied. They, dumb people will bully you for being smart. Isn't that a weird word? So this chick picked on me and I got her back I got even with her and then the principal calls me to his office he said here we are we thought giving you the presidential honor would 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 straighten you out I'm like what we thought giving you that presidential award that you would be a better student I was already a great student so I'm like what the hell so he made me think that I actually did not achieve what I worked for that's how manipulative this principal was come to find out he was a, a steady drunk he kept a bottle of liquor in his desk drawer I can remember all the way back to kindergarten being gang stalked in school I remember in Oklahoma I went to Broken, Over, Broken Arrow Elementary School I think that's the name of the school but it's in Broken Arrow Oklahoma right up above Captain D's I remember being there and the teacher had to leave the room and I was always in trouble but I don't ever remember doing a lot of bad stuff it's always somebody ratting me out so teacher leaves and the fat kid it's always the fat kid is that that runs the mark the chalkboard so I walk in a classroom from bathroom break I walk in the classroom like four or five guys in there in second second grade second grade i walk in i say penis lives on venus now i had a no idea what a penis was none i heard the word it rhymed with venus i had no idea but it was a fat kid that was ready and willing to write me up for it so he puts my name on the chalkboard i gave him a little lip he gave me he gave me a check mark beside my name give him a little more lip because i've always been a fighter i've always been the one you, you if you're going to come at me okay you're going to have to come at me and when you do i'm going I'm to defend myself so i ended up like three checks on the board so i'm in trouble now teacher comes in calls my dad and as i told you guys before my dad was extremely abusive i left the, the kitchen table more times backwards than i did walking up and sitting down on it my dad comes to school, calls all my teachers. This is how, how much of a bully and an asshole my dad was. He, put, he called all the teachers to the gymnasium. The principal let him do this. Got all my teachers into the gymnasium, including my classroom, and he beat my ass in front of the whole second grade. He said, if it gets high, this is what you beat my ass for a word I said that I didn't know. Then, I had to walk beside his truck as he screamed at me a mile all the way home. I wasn't allowed to ride my bike. I had to push my bike a mile home while he screamed at me. I got a whooping in every grade in school. I got a whooping. Why? Because I was hyper. I had energy. Nobody would listen. I can't sit still. I gotta go. Give me something to stimulate me. And these teachers, all they want to do is teach you how to take a test. They, they don't care about you learning. They want to teach you how to listen and obey. Let me, let me read this comment. Is there a way to keep this available just for an hour or so after? Seem to only end up catching the last few minutes. 
for some reason they don't post up these videos my live videos don't post up for two or three days later now you may be able to go and save it and, and it should pop up two or three days if you want to see it but thank you for being here but it's i have to go in even though it's marked as public youtube privatizes it so nobody, nobody can see my videos it's, 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 it's insanity but thanks for being here man i hope you get I hope you get back on it so my whole life in school i was hyperactive I mean, I couldn't sit still. I'm 48 and I can't stand just to lay there and sit still. That's why it's so absurd. It is so absurd, all these soy boy sissies. Like that, who's that one douche wash, douche, douche nozzle, vilified douchebag? The one that conned, he conned his subscribers into buying him a $20,000 house. Yeah. I'm the con man for asking people to donate money so I can help others. It's a bizarre world. And I guess it goes back to just like the Bible, the Bible says, Eric, ScrewTube is correct. The Bible says is the evil ones will accuse that their mind is so set on evil that they can't attribute good to anyone else. And it repeats only in the last four seconds. Hmm. Sorry about that, dude. I, I, it, it does fine on my end when I can find it. So, evil always assumes you're going to do evil because that's what they would do. That's why they lie so much. They assume you're lying because every word out of their mouth comes as a lie. I was watching uh, the Tucker Carlson Network this morning, and it was a snippet on YouTube. It ain't been a second. Eight, eight minute clip of Alex Jones and Tucker and I don't want to say Alex Jones is watching my videos I don't want to say that but you guys have heard me say for the last two and a half years I do not lie not a little bitty lie not a biggy biggy lie I do not lie and once you do that you start to reset your brain because it is natural for us to lie because we are naturally evil. And people naturally fear what others think or perceive them to be. Fear. So once you remove that spirit of fear from what people think or people assume about you, lying fades away. Fades away. So Alex Jones was talking to Tucker Carlson and he said, oh, uh, yeah, Tucker, uh, the evil ones are trying to kill us, but what I've done in my life is I don't lie anymore. I don't tell even one lie. I don't tell a lie to anybody. I tell the truth, no matter what, no matter if it hurts, I tell the truth. And I'm like, Alex Jones is listening to me? I mean, I'm sure he is, and I'm, I'm nobody. Alex Jones, he should have me on. I could probably enlighten him. Everything he knows, like targeting stuff, that I could tell him personally, but... As Alex Jones has stated before, man, we don't know if these guys are lunatics, if they're psychopaths, if they're hearing voices because they're crazy, or actually is the government because we can't tell if it's the government attacking him or not. Because I'm like a stuffed turkey. I think when he saw the drone footage. Stick me with a fork. I'm all done. Mr. Unite for the Chill Wind has just donated 2 dollars through Super Chat. Thank you. Give it up, MTC. Vaughn is still the real victim. That's right, Vaughn is the real victim. Folks, I think we get the idea. I just wanted to capture, I wanted you to experience just a little bit of the essence of a Targeted Citizen live show. And uh, this is kind of what you're looking at. I, I have no idea what he talks about. Here, let's just skim through it. The planes and all that footage. I'm going to sell to somebody else. Let's keep moving forward. Everything. There's a mini scooter sitting there. One of those 50cc deals. So maybe he was trying to escape a bad situation at home, or maybe he was gonna go, I don't know if that was his real mom. The, the woman, the old lady was there, she was really old, really old for him to be so young. So I don't know what the deal was. It was, it was strange, but I don't, I mean, it wasn't drugs. Um, some, some people are so desperate to get away, they'll do anything, and the kid probably didn't have anything in lawnmower. I mean, it, look, it looks like trash, but by the time I pump up the back tires and I clean it up and get it running, and fix a little bit here and there it'll be a nice mower so um i don't i, I didn't feel drugs I, I think there was probably i know for a fact and 
I was trying to witness to the dad, tell you know, drop a couple of scriptures here and there, and he was he was bouncing back biblical talk to me, but it did not feel like it was it was heartfelt biblical talk. It felt it felt I don't I don't know. It didn't. It felt very adversarial to me. So I was just dropping my biblical wisdom on him and smiling and being polite because he was a very, the dad was a very strange dude. But when the kid said that to the dad, I'm like, well, maybe the dad, because listen, the, the burnt down building was the kid's friend who was hiding in the man's building and had three batteries plugged up and burned his building down with his Volkswagen bug right beside of it. I mean, it melted the building and everything. So that kid would have would have not lived that down with I'd have been around anyway. <laughs> but I was trying, you know, me who'd been around black people my whole life in the South, there's black folks everywhere, everywhere. We get along fine. Uh -oh. They know I got a rebel flag and they don't care because they know what it means. Because listen here, if you ever meet a racist and the 99% of America will never meet one, they're not going to have black friends. They're not going to be polite to black people. They're not going to be polite to Mexican people. They're not going to be polite to Jews. They're not racist. Don't get along with anybody. I mean, even where I'm at, it, it, up, up in Granite Falls, a county away from me, they still have the Klan that march, and nobody bothers them. They leave them alone. They do what they want to do. I know people that are in the Klan, and a lot of them, they're not hate, hate, hate filled like you would think. They're, they're not like that. They just, a lot of them live in fear because they see the destruction of America. Oh, my they God. They see what's going on. So, a racist is full of hate, but he knows people in the Klan that are just good people. They're just scared. How, why, why, why am I not shocked that this guy knows people in the clan and would actually be bold enough to brag about it? Why, why am I not shocked? And they see that white people are on the menu. We are mm -hmm. white men, middle-aged Christian white men, are an endangered species. Why? Because we're the ones that's going to be protecting the homeland as the troops come around. In the cities and the suburbs in the country, want to kick doors down and kill people. They know it's going to be that redneck that knows how to dang take duct tape and a beer can and kill your ass with it. <laughs> but that's the world we live in. I appreciate you guys for being here. I got to get off and get busy. I got a lot to do today. I love you. If you want to have a live stream tonight, let me know. Go to one of my videos and post your comments because you're not going to be able to post on here for at least three or four days. Okay, we don't have clan here, so I don't know anything about it. The clan ain't bad people. I'll tell you this much. The clan are no more racist and probably less racist than Black Lives Matter. I guarantee you that. Black Lives Matter will murder you before anybody in the clan will. That's a fact, Jack. So, I love you guys. God bless. See you later. We'll be right back after these messages. Hey guys, so I am back to do a little uh, fashion show, but also uh, an important news update. So I want to. Uh, so I don't know. If, I know you all remember this, but a long time ago, when I first moved out here, about 2020, 2021, you know, there was this one girl. Well, there's lots of people which we already took care of that, so uh, it's a case-by-case case thing. So remember there's that one girl, that Kesha, Keisha, whatever, that black girl, and she was trying so hard to have my like videos demonetized so I no longer make money from it. Yeah, I know y'all remember that girl. And uh, then after a while, like she has deleted her videos. Good for her. That means she's scared of what's happening, so she deleted those videos. However, uh, the problem with that is that she continued to remain haughty and never really, you know, uh, made a, a public apology or anything like that. Neither did I expect one. But so what I'm going to do now to reward, to reward her is because during that time when I first moved out here, I, you know, I was not fully, you know, 
final form yet and uh, she was trying to have my videos demonetized uh, and at that time I was making like nothing at all because the deadbeat was not giving me any money I, I literally was having barely any money come in to feed my children and I was barely making like $400 a month off of my YouTube channel to feed my daughters because you know the deadbeat was not <laughs> helping with anything. So uh, your reward, uh, Keisha, whatever your name is, she although she had deleted uh, the Teal Tequila hate videos that she made because she tried to cut me off from my uh, finances to feed my children. What I'm what her reward is now, she is get she's getting evicted. From this land, she's getting evicted from the land of the living and set all the way back down into the great tribulation of the land of Hades and, you know, down there where Joe Biden is ruling and reigning. By the way, guys, I'm the one who put Joe Biden down there in office and he's doing a fantastic job <laughs> because I'm the one who put, I, I put an evil ruler over those who are, okay, never mind. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, Joe Biden, you're doing a fantastic job. You know, Joe Biden was put there by God to, you know, uh, rule over those people down there. So, that girl, Keisha, Kesha, whatever her name is, what, she's down there now. So, from now on, you, no one will ever hire you again for a job. You will never find a job anywhere for the rest of your life. That's your reward from me. And you're going down there. And also, uh, a lot of people out here have just uh, gotten God their going to get a literal. Bum number one has just donated Ron 10 through Super Chat. He said the Von thing. Yes, he did. There, you'll notice there are many parallels, uh, including racism, amongst the cows. So thank you very much. I do appreciate that. And thank you for being here, folks. Eviction notice because God already set that out. Uh, I don't need to go into details, but this is, I'll explain to you how it works. So you say, well, when, oh, and because, you know, I don't want my city here, the land of the living, to be filled with maggots and homelessness. So what's going to happen is once you get evicted from here physically and the Lord physically has you move out of here, you will be immediately teleported back down there. So let's say like I have my that my neighbor, right? So let's say he's getting evicted physically because he's getting evicted physically. So how that works is that once he physically moves out of here, instead of all these bums lying around in our city, you know, to, so it's looking all nasty. Uh, what we're doing is we were teleporting them physically down there in, into the Joe Biden land in the great tribulation down there. So I, God, <laughs> God, excuse me, not me, God, the Lord God put Joe Biden down there to rule over those people down there. So what's going to happen is as soon as they get evicted from here, boom, they immediately get teleported down there. So what happens is once he wakes up, uh, after he gets evicted from here, he's going to wake up down there and uh, he's going to look over here and this house is going to be empty. You, get, you see what I'm saying? Because I'm still going to be up upstairs here while he's down there. So once he gets down there, he's going to look over here and nobody, this is it's going to be empty house. So that's how you know that you just got evicted because tomorrow morning or whatever, you know, <laughs> when you wake up and you, you're, you know, anyway, so... I'm going to do a fashion show now. So that's all I want to say. Uh, a lot of people out here are getting evicted. And no, you're not going to just lay around in the streets. All those bumps, you're going to teleport it directly down to Joe Biden land, which God put in office. Joe Biden's doing an amazing job. He put a, you know, God put puts a wicked ruler over, you know, those people down there. <laughs> So anyways, enough about that, guys. I want to show you uh, Pretty in Pink. So I'm doing my fashion show because, you know, again, oh yeah, YouTube, you're still paying me $10 billion because, you know, I can just cosplay, fashion show, do whatever. And, um, oh yeah, so by the way, speaking of fashion show and cosplay, <laughs> so look at this, so beautiful. This smells so good. This is what I'm wearing right now for the perfume. 
It's from a Swiss Arabian. Swiss Arabian. It smells so beautiful. And at the top, it's like shiny rainbow looking. So this is what I'm wearing right now. So, you know, because I'm a supermodel, high fashion model, and YouTube, you're paying me $10 billion because you... Anyways, let, let's get on with the fashion show. Wardrobe change, shall we? We'll be right back after these messages. Well, here's the thing that's got me uh, bamboozled. You know, I have no money. I have no money to pay my electric, pay my water, because the renters haven't paid me my rent. And I have no money to pay the taxes. I have no, well, I don't have any money to do anything. Because I well, don't have did, any money. If they don't pay rent, uh, just get a police officer out. And serve them an eviction notice. Well, it, well, obviously, but I mean, I'm, that's beside the point. The point is, I don't have any money, and you know, the irony of the whole damn thing is that I'm just, you know, I'm sitting here humming a tune and and mm -hmm. not a care in the world, and it's, you know, and inside, inside me, you know, it's like, hey, dummy, you ain't got no money to pay no bills. What what are you doing, just lounging around without a care in the world? You know, I, it's it's very weird, very strange. <laughs> but I, I just, you know, I get, I guess the gods, um, you know, since they're taking care of it, I guess I don't have a care in the world. But I tell you, you know, the in, my insides are like, hey, dummy, you ain't got the money. You're going to lose, you, you might lose everything. Not that you're going to, but you might. Now, what what a popular website in uh, in your area, like around Kentucky, is uh, used for selling stuff? Is it uh, Facebook or Gigi or? No, God, no. Uh, no. We did have something called the Shopper, but I think they went out of business. Yeah. Um, but we had right. we did have a paper uh, locally that people traded in out of. Um, I well, you know that. Ironically enough, Clay County does have a trading post on Facebook. Uh, Clay County, Kentucky, uh, Manchester, Kentucky, whichever one. Well, just uh, list but, one of your. But, I, but I'm banned on Facebook, so that don't help me worth a shit, no. now does it? Well, you could always create a new account. No, I cannot always create a new account. You have to have a working email. Yeah. And I don't have a working email. I'm just saying you need to find a place uh, you could rent out one of your empty trailers. Just say well, like uh, that, well, that's a month. The thing. If, well, here's the thing: if I can get the other two trailers rented and yeah. and the income coming in, I'll be fine. But it's getting the other two trailers rented. That's the problem because just, they've been gutted because of not one but two storms. See, the frost decided they would tell FEMA, "Yeah, don't go out there and help him." Now that's going to bite. That's going to end up biting them in the ass because FEMA didn't just come out and not help me. They didn't help anybody on Crane, and so everybody on Crane is pissed and they're wanting to know why FEMA never came no. back. I mean, it's been two years and FEMA never returned to make repairs for anybody. Well, and that's, so everybody that's on Joe Crane Biden, he doesn't pissed care about off. You. So everybody on Crane is pretty pissed off. And when they find out that the Frosts are the ones that told FEMA to not come back, well, that's going to be a problem for the Frost now, isn't it? Yeah. It's going to be a big problem for them. Not going to be no problem for me, but it is going to be for them. Because everybody on Crane is pissed. Because, I mean, some people on Crane lost their fucking trailer. I mean, their trailer literally went down the fucking creek. So, I mean, you know, people's not happy. And uh, and when they find out that the Frost were the ones that did that shit, they're not going to like the Frost very much. <laughs> they're already pissed at Larry anyway, because Larry apparently skipped out um, on some other people money besides me. And so uh, everybody's pissed at Larry. Another idea but, is you uh, I have another another idea is you could always uh, do like an arranged uh, marriage and just get married for a green card and she'll give you some money that way. Do what now? An arranged marriage. To what? To who? I don't know. Anyone that wants a green card. Anyone that wants a green card. Yeah, because... Well, how do I get my... Wait a minute. How do I get the money if they're the ones that's getting the green card? Well, they'll pay you for the marriage. The marriage they license. They'll pay yeah. me? They'll pay you for the marriage license, and uh, you just look after them for a certain amount of time. and. Until, how much uh, are we talking, though? I'm not sure... You, just look online. Just type in arranged online. marriage. Probably only a couple hundred bucks or something. Of course, a couple hundred bucks right now would really help. I mean, if even if it was 200 Canadian, it would help. Yeah. Because uh, that would at least help me to, you know, 
keep the lights on literally <laughs> literally keep the yeah. lights on like um, i'd help out but uh just because of inflation up here in canada by the by the time i get my next paycheck mine's already half gone do i know like if i were to help you out my uh inflation is so bad up here in canada my paycheck is pretty much half spent uh when i get my next one well i can always give it back to you yeah i know but We'll see. I might send you a care package once I get my... Um... Me, well, you better hurry because they may shut my lights off on the 14th. So I'd, I would yeah. get my tax return before then. Oh, you won't get your tax return before then? Hopefully yeah, you probably soon. won't get it until April. I mean, that's when everybody files is April. Yeah, usually early April I'll get it. Yeah, yeah, April. So, shocker, Von Helm was online today. His, his electric didn't get cut off. It was when you file. So, I mean, then I'll send you a care package even if you don't have power. So, we had covered this in another video on one of our last streams, but I thought for context for some of the stuff we're going to hear about later, I thought it was kind of important. This is a fat photog uh, recap, folks. Or, so. Well, if I don't have <laughs> if I don't have power or, 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 or water or anything, it won't matter. Yeah. Uh, well, just explain to the power company your situation that you're a little down. They don't give a, no, no, stop, stop. They, nobody gives a fuck. Okay. Nobody gives a fuck. It, you, it, Carlin tried to warn everybody about that shit. You know, some people got it. Some people didn't. So let me reiterate George Carlin. Nobody gives a fuck. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can call, I could call Jackson electric, say, Hey man, you know, I'm having a hard time. You say, we don't care. We want our money. Okay. And hang up the phone. OK, because that's how that that's how everybody is. It's not it's not just Jackson Electric. Everybody's that way. We want our fucking money and I don't blame them. It's just like me. I want my fucking money. The frost have hit it away. I want my fucking money, you know. But see, my problem is, is that I can't get into court to get it. Not yet. But, you know, the gods love to wait until the last possible second before mm -hmm. they do something. And that is so unnerving, but they love doing that. I don't know why. I just, they just, you know, so at the 11th hour, at the 11th minute and the 11th second, you know, they'll come through with something probably. But I really hate that when they do that to me. But they well, do. Well, that single wide you got there must be somewhat livable. You were living in it last year for a good amount of time. What's that now? The single wide you. The you single have. wide has no power. Oh, it's been shut off. Yeah, I had to turn off. I had to do that. No, turn no, everything no, off. No. I can't afford nothing I until sorry, I get Wilson my. Wilson has just donated two dollars. The only way Vaughn would ever agree to setting up an arranged marriage is if it clearly stated the age of the bride at fourteen. That's right. Yeah, he likes so you get well. You get them new from the start, you know. Anyway, I'm not even gonna. Thank you very much. My uh, uh, building's all rented. I can't yeah. afford nothing, not right now. Well, rent it as is, and they whoever rents it is responsible for turning the power back on. Well, of course. Like your it hydro bills can't be that much. Well, they, no, it's it's not. It's like not fifty bucks a month or something. Or? It's not too bad. Um, you know, if you use if you use LED lighting, you'll be fine. Yeah. That's that's the trick is using LED lighting. See, that's a trick I didn't know because I'm I'm screwing in hundred watt light bulbs, you know, without a care in the world. Not realizing, hey, dummy, you know, that's going to run you, it's going to run your bill sky high, you know. Well, the only light source you need is pretty much the one in your room right now. and just... Yeah, pretty much. But anyways, um, we can see it's, in the it's, really, good. it's really an ironic dichotomy. It really yeah. is. You know, because inside I'm like, hey, I ain't got no money. I'm starting to freak, you know, because I ain't got no money. But on the outside, it's like. You know, I'm just chilling. I'm listening to music and bebopping and, and you know, working mm -hmm. on my shit. Like, no big tomorrow. Of course, now, having said that, they've shown me in that garage working on a big British bomb, World War One bomber. They've already shown me doing that. So something happens. But, you know, I yep. don't know, man. They But they love waiting to the last possible second. And it's so unnerving. I don't know why they do that to me. I think they, I think they secretly enjoy doing it. You know, I, mm -hmm. mm, I think so. You didn't hear that, anyway. Sure uh, but yeah, man. Um, out of this, they uh, well, they do. They uh, numerous times, numerous times, they wait till the last possible second, and then 
they come through. It's just it's just like in and you know in the in in the um, in the uh, uh, district court. Mm -hmm. I mean, district court, man. I'm against the ropes. I'm literally against the ropes. Stivers is threatening to throw me out in 15 below zero weather. They've already cut off my water, cut off my food stamps. They're getting ready to throw me out on the street. I'll be back in five minutes. You what now? I have. I'll be back in like five minutes. You can okay. continue. Okay, go ahead. Anyways, I'm working on uh, I'm working on another home. Uh, I've got the I've got the uh, the uh, the Boston uh, pretty much done. It's got a few tweaks that needs to be done to the upstairs walls, but uh, it's pretty much done. So now I'm working on the Clementine, which is going to be a really really cute little house, and um, I'm going to get it done and get it get it. Assembled. I'm working on the working on the foundation as we speak, literally. Uh, I'd show you, but I don't have mod power, so I can't. Uh, maybe when he comes back, I'll show you. But um, I'm working on the Clementine, and I'm gonna get uh, get a bit. And and like I said, I mean, you know, I don't know why, but I'm just I'm just you know chilling like a villain and and relaxing and you know. And inside, it's like, hey, dummy, you ain't got no bit, you ain't got no money, you need money, you need money. Where's all the donations? Where's it? You know why? You know, and and you know that is something. You know why isn't my Etsy store uh, doing okay? Why isn't, uh, you know, why am I not getting donations? Why am I not, you know, why, why isn't people, um, you know, uh, becoming members of Odyssey and uh, members of my pages and shit over on Odyssey? I don't, I don't understand. You know, there is numerous ways of getting me money, not to mention the lottery, Publishers Clearinghouse, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But for whatever reason, I'm not getting a dime. So I don't. Junior Frost donated five dollars through Super Chat. It's madness. Thank you, thank you very much, Junior Frost. I do appreciate that. Yes, it is madness. It's all madness, folks. Lulz madness. No, if I'm cursed, I've got a hex on me for money, or what's going on? I mean, I've I've probably knocked off about twenty or thirty curses at least. I'm sure, but I don't know. It's really bizarre, you know, because. For all the things I'm doing, something should be working, but nothing is. Isn't that, isn't that ironic? So I don't know. Um, but like I said, the gods have a plan. I wish they'd clue me in on it. But they have a plan, and it's going to come to fruition, whether the trolls like it or not, whether the frosts like it or not, or whether I like it or not. Their plan is going to come to fruition. If that plan is me losing everything, then I'll lose everything. However, if that plan is for me to get into court and get my shit back, then I'll get then that will happen. But uh, you know, either way, you know, it's like in family court, you know, oh well, you know, Vaughn lost his kids. Yeah, I did. But what you don't know is that the the gods told me before I even got up, but in fact, the whole almost the whole ride there, by the time I got to the edge of Manchester, um, city limits. The gods are like, now calm down, stay calm, and no matter what happens, you still win. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. What if I lose the kids? They said, you're not listening. You're talking. You still win. And I'm like, okay, I still win. You know. And they said it over and over and over and over. No matter what happens, you still win. No matter what happens, you still win. And it, you know, just over and over and over again, you know, making the point very clear to me. <clears throat> I love it when they make the point very clear to me. I don't like I don't like it when there's any type of gray area or any type of haze. I like it when they make it nice and clear what the hell's going on. But they don't always do that. But in the family court uh, situation, they did because about okay, it's about a half hour drive to to Manchester, and then a half hour drive back, all the way up there, about. At least a good 15 minutes. The whole way up, they're just, you, know, you win no matter what. You win no matter, now, that doesn't make any, pardon me. Now, that doesn't make any sense to me and you. It makes no sense to us. Because in our minds, well, hey, he lost the kids, so he lost. He didn't win. Okay, but see, the gods have a plan. They know what's going on. I don't have a clue, but they know what's going on. And they have purposely chained me to where that I can't use my magic to defend myself. 
I am solely at their mercy. So, you know, I have to do what the gods say to do. And I have to believe that the gods will put the right words in my mouth to get accomplished what needs to be accomplished. Welcome to your doom. <laughs> we'll be right back after these messages. Folks, the big iced tea taste test is history and the clear winner is... Mm -mm -mm, Kratom tea. Kratom tea. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be this red flare makes it taste so good. See how satisfying iced tea can taste. I'm gonna drink it down, funky town. Freedom. What up, YouTube? It's your boy, King Cobra, and we're gonna do another delicious food hack. We're gonna start the food hack off with our base, which is a Wendy's pretzel baconator. Double pretzel baconator, no ketchup. And I added four extra slices of cheese <gasps> to it. And we're going to, uh... Skeptic donated $10. Here ya go, Vaughn. Nah, just kidding. Have a drink on me, Secular. Well, thank you very much. I do appreciate that. Folks, have a drink on me. Uh, <laughs> address it. And don't worry, we got more Vaughn Helton coming, folks. We got we got lots more Vaughn Helton coming. The situation. Oh, yeah, look at that. Pretzel Baconator. <clears throat> Hold the ketchup. Extra cheese. Top bun peeled off beautifully. Now, a lot of people are going to get mad at me for adding this next ingredient. But it is what it is. Look at what we have here, folks. We have Doritos Dynamita. Flaming Hot Queso flavored. Salsamando. What the fuck? So you know what we're going to do to this sandwich, we're going to add mm, these talky ripoffs to our sandwich. And in my defense, Doritos did fire Samantha Hudson. They apologize for their mistake. To the top of our Doritos, we're going to add... Some uh, Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Wing Sauce. Let's throw like maybe two capfuls on there. Now we're going to add some sushi to our bacon cheeseburger. We got some AFC spicy salmon rolls. Put a couple on here for flavor purposes. Let's put four on there if we can fit it. Yeah. Oh. Now these haven't been completely dethawed. But that's alright. That one don't want to stay on there. I should have let it dethaw a little bit longer, but I digress. I'm going to take our soy sauce that comes with it. I like to squeeze the soy sauce for our sushi all over the top of our burger. The whole packet. Smear it on there. Then we're going to add some ginger leaf. So I'm going to take the wasabi and the sushi and I'm going to put it all on top of a burger. And this uh, sushi isn't quite dethawed, so we might have to wait a little bit longer for it to dethaw. Oh, God damn it. Ah. Ooh. That, that burns. <coughs> <coughs> I 
and just licking the uh, wasabi sauce from the packet. Got my nostril singing. Oh, man. Anyways, YouTube, I want to give you a close-up of this action, because while the sushi is de -thawing. Okay, look at that. Just look, look at that. Yeah, I'm going to let that de -thaw on the sushi for a bit before we try a bite of it. What's up, you crazy bastard? So we got this sushi baconator. But before we get into it, I'd like to make a little announcement. You know what I hate about our society? If you're body positive, you're encouraging obesity. But if you're not body positive, you're fat shaming. That being said, I'm not encouraging anyone to do anything. My channel is not for a certain audience. Putting sushi on top of a baconator? What kind of nonsense is this? That food hack that I did earlier with the sushi and these, uh, as somebody who struggles with body weight image issues, I'm all for supporting body positivity. This sushi bacon is pretty fucking swinging, dude. Putting a uh, sushi on a baconator, I'm here for it. Look at that monster of a sandwich. Look at it. Eat it. I make the wildest food hacks on YouTube. That is snackably delicious. You, you really can't, YouTube. You can't say anything without pissing anybody off anymore. And it's so annoying, dude. It's not about promoting unhealthy habits. Because realistically, even if you're not fat, what isn't unhealthy these days? You sit there and text on your cell phone. The radiation from your cell phone can cause cancer. You know what I'm saying, YouTube? Look at that food hack. Look at that delicious Baconator snack. I let it cool off in the sushi de on, on top of it. And it's honestly not half bad. And honestly, who cares if it's unhealthy? Life is full of unhealthy habits, you know? You just gotta love the way you look, and if you can't control the fact that you're a little overweight, who cares? It's not the end of the world, you know? I get sick and tired of all these fucking people who are like, oh, you're just encouraging, da 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 da. <coughs> and it's like, dude, I'm not encouraging jack shit. If you're not old enough to watch my channel, then you shouldn't be watching my channel, period. I fucking age restrict my videos for a reason, because I cuss, I drink, and I smoke, and I tell it like it is. Childhood obesity is 100% preventable because the parents need to man up and get their kids off their butts and start doing healthier things like exercise and eating healthy. No, like, you know, when I make videos encouraging body positivity, I'm not encouraging anything bad except to love yourself, and there's nothing wrong with that. If you can't understand that and you want to make it all about, oh, Cobra, you're spreading a bad message, huh? then you don't get it. You just don't get it. The way I say it, as long as you ain't a sicko, who gives a fuck? You know? We're all just people trying to live our lives. No, I'm Sushi sorry, Bake. I just donated two dollars. Fetal alcohol syndrome Jack Sparrow coming in nicely tubes. <laughs> Definitely for sure. Thank you very much, Wilson. I do appreciate it. Ganator. Folks, it's just, first of all, I don't know why the sushi would be frozen. Second of all, I'm pretty sure it's just thaw, not de -thaw. I'm not sure. I think it's defrost. Three, I mean, putting it on the burger is just silly anyways, but he actually, well, I'm just going to let it melt. And meaning by the time he ate it, yeah, the sushi's thawed. But the burger is also now cold. And it's got all that juice running through it. We don't know what it was. It's probably a California roll or something like with artificial crab meat, but. Ah. We'll be right back after these messages.
Jurassic Coke. Keep absolutely still. But your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could that they didn't stop to think if they should. The world is gonna die! <laughs> hey there, everybody. This is just a quick reminder that tonight, uh, me and Sabella will be doing the StreamYard, a uh, live stream on StreamYard, uh, around probably six or seven uh around there so click that little notification bell make sure that you get all the notifications uh the video that we are going to be tonight's topic of discussion is going to be the crimes of carrie and uh we all hope that you uh enjoyed last night's little troll uh but tonight we're gonna get down to some serious business and uh bring some good old-fashioned butthurt uh, so I'll leave it up to you guys because I haven't really watched any of this. This is just his little promo. I have his channel in the in the wings here, ready to go. If you guys actually want to watch a few minutes of him bitching and moaning about Carrie and what this thing is all about, give me a one in the chat. If you want to just keep going, either don't put anything or put a two in the chat. I'm cool either way. We could take a break and watch a bit of it. I don't know if it's entertaining or not. Uh, or we just catch up another time. So give me a one if you do want to go to Nick's channel and see what the hell's going on. Or give me a two just to keep on going through the show. Carrie. So that said, <clears throat> like, subscribe, share. Uh, I have, uh, I, I will be putting a link in there so other people can converse with us and uh, we can kind of, you know, figure out, uh, you know, what's all going on with. Uh, uh, a little Miss Board Housewife. We'll be right back after these messages. It's it's tight out there, folks. It's tight out there. So we got Von Helton next. So I'm going. I tell you what, we'll we'll, we'll entertain it. We'll split the difference. We'll just check out just a little bit, just a t just a taste, just a taste. So we got John's channel loaded up, and we got Nick's channel here loaded up. His last live. Is crying about care. Oh, the 31 minutes ago. So just 21. Oh, this short one. Let's watch it. Fuck it. What the hell, folks. That's what we're here for. You never know. It's a wild card. According to Kerry, this is the enemy of the people. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Ah, there we go. Can we? Oh, fuck. What is this place doing to us? What is this place doing to us? Carries the People's Republic of Carries Discord server. Has server. What will we be doing? Well, we will be doing that uh, any well, we are on the way to get uh, uh, the better. But the moment we are going to on the way discuss, discuss a very serious issue, a, a traitor, a traitor in Carrie's Discord server, her Discord. And as you know, as any good, good uh, communist or fascist does, uh, we, uh, we, where's that damn light? We, uh, we drink a uh, uh, cheap coffee the hell is he doing? <clears throat> He's not even drunk. Uh, Nebraska. 
communist Nebraska. And the Russians. Is this it, Nick? The stream. Mele uh, began uh, in a very long two, three, four paragraph uh, paper on the wonders and the beauties and the virtues of uh, the uh, communist. Oh, I don't know. Nick, I don't even know what that. I'm losing it in there. Let's very, go back a sec. I, got, well, I want to give him at least a chance here, folks. That was just. I don't know what that was all about. You're losing it. This one, there's no way I'm going through all this, but maybe he's making more sense. Let's uh, let's, let, let's give Nick a chance here, folks. Yeah, of course. yeah, he's done that a couple of times already. Um, we know it's him. We've sent evidence to both Carrie and Rabbit Old Bat. Both Rabbit Old Bat. Rabbit Old Bat distanced herself from Bruce, you know, thankfully, but Carrie seems to be taking up Bruce's cross. Yeah, oh, Michael, you might know some competition, just saying. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, yeah, why, why is Carrie taking up the cross of a known wife beater and abuser? Wait till we get to the clips uh, that I put in there. Oh, looking forward <laughs> to those. Holy shit. Why about me? And I, I'm not sorry I'm dragging you into this because you lied to me about where you were going. You went to go get her in Jacksonville. I already have proof. I have proof that he and her planned this fucking shit. He did and you ate it in the bed of him. And they caused bodily harm and injury to me to have me hospitalized in the ER. I'm definitely including you. I'm contacting your superiors at where you fucking work. And I'm going to fucking report what the fuck you're doing. Let me tell you something, asshole. After 11 and a half fucking years of taking care of this crazy piece of shit, it ain't do anything but fucking argue you with people all my life. After fucking putting up a dog and taking care of her for a fucking year while she was born. Constantly feeding her and fucking making sure she has everything. And she dumped me this way and don't turn me into the motherfucking criminal. You atheist. You straight to hell! As far as I'm concerned, you're a fucking dead man with fucking your mama, and you're a big ass fucking skull! And she will go to fucking jail for this shit! You cannot call yourself a cop confused. in somebody's life, and you cannot fucking draw up that blood pressure like that to me or death! Uh, okay. I'll wait until I come in. And all they're trying to do is fucking keep on pissing me off until I fucking say something that's going to get me locked up. I'll say it to you, motherfucker. I'll include you into it. I'll come after your fucking ass, motherfucker, because you're the one that fucking aided her in the fucking beginning and fucking probably fucking groomed her to fucking go and take it further. And it wasn't you that fucking called the cops. You fucking piece of shit. I'm going to get you fucking fired too, motherfucker. I'm going to fucking contact fucking HUD housing. And I'm going to fucking let them know this motherfucker has fucking uh, committed fraud on his application. I'm going to fucking contact the Lincoln, uh, Nebraska Police Department today. I'm going to let them know that this cocksucking piece of shit in their community is up on fucking social media fucking breaking the law. And you know what? I hope he goes to fucking jail because that way she won't have a ride to work and she's going to be fucking hopeless. And he'll lose his fucking apartment. I'm also contacting their apartment complex. I know they're fucking little fucking uh, raggedy ass fucking welfare apartments, the, the fucking HUD housing projects they live in. <clears throat> I'm going to fucking start doing shit to everyone. That fucking is involved with agreeing with their fucking lies against me. And it's all because a lot of you that are fucking believing her and taking her fucking side, it's because you're fucking atheists too, you fucking hate monging motherfuckers. 
I've heard enough of y'all stupid fucking bullshit for years. And I saw what you do to fucking Christians, calling the cops on them and shit. Y'all are a bunch of fucking pussies, pussies. And if we ever go to war, I'm going to push you out in front of gunfire. Hmm. Gunfire. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that sounds like a threat. Almost like that threat that uh, upset Mike so much he had to get me out of Florida real yeah. fast. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was, oh, yeah, he called. And I remember the day he called me up, said, oh, we're going to send it next week. I was like, oh, shit. And I, am, I was immediately started making plans. Right, it was a fucking Thursday or a Friday, I think, and then he calls me up on a fucking Friday, and he's like, "Change of plans. I'm putting her on the bus tomorrow." I'm just like, uh, "No, he did that Thursday." I don't know, Nick. He sounds like he's got a little fire in the belly. I think I'd be careful. Because yeah. Friday. Let's skip ahead a little bit. Was- that was that was interesting. because she's mischaracterizing the very things that she sees and she's not even really paying attention to what's going on. And also we were hearing uh, some things from Christian last night or the night before, or last night, about uh, all the people gathered in Carrie's discord waiting, just waiting on bended knee uh, for me to basically uh, Nick, why don't you ever come to our Discord? And when I recall, what are you doing messing around with us? What are we doing here, Nick? Come on, if you want to join our Discord, there's the link. If you want to join me, we there's a link. Actually, I think he did join at one point. Folks, if you want to support the channel, there's the PayPal. If you want to get some uh, merch from the House of Dank, there it is. Maybe just give me a thumbs up consider that. I don't know. I think you get the idea. The rest of it is he's crying. I don't really keep up with the Carrie drama. I know she covers Rev and Shani. I catch that once in a blue moon, but I don't know who comes. A couple people come in here. Some well, idiot. Do with you. Keep my name out of your mouth. I will give you back the money so you don't try to use it as a way to talk shit. And that's not good enough. you got to still talk shit. I think Jules comes oh, yeah. in. Let's watch a little bit of Jules. And that's kind of what happened to me, too. And I'm only he was kicked out, but uh, we saw it this, I saw it this morning. Like it's, I was up like at six, and it was like up at. I was up at six, and I saw it on her in her community section. I was like, yeah. "What the hell?" And I'm but sure I'm, I'm going to be painted the bad guy for saying that, but I think she's a piece of shit. And her friend doesn't deserve to have her information spread out to a bunch of strangers on the internet who clearly do not like her. So you're opening the door for other people to go into that person's life and fuck with them. Um, you're a piece of shit for that. And, Did you know, you like, I, I just don't get her mentality. Like, it's always like, I'm the victim. I don't do anything wrong. Exactly. Um, Did you notice that in that post, there were long stretches of time where she never even responded to her friend who supposedly died? Yep. She was just ignoring her for months and months. Yep. Highlight Todd's comment. I don't know if he already said that. Yeah, that's exact. Yeah, Todd. That's another thing. Mm. And not to not, and I personally personally I'm not going to go that deep and like look into that information because I do not care that much. Um, but okay. just based off the screenshots she posted, like it's just I don't know. It's, it I don't get it. How it's like she's constantly the victim. How do people not realize that? She's having falling outs with all these people that were her close friends at one time. And now they're, you know, coming out and telling the truth. And it's like, oh, no, they, they're lying. I'm the victim here. Poor yeah, me, poor me. Woman, all she had to do was keep my name out of her mouth. And I would not talk to about her publicly. I told her that multiple times. Mm-hmm. And then she went and she was trying to start shit in Rabbit Old Bat's channel. With blue over that fifty dollars that I offered to send her back, like four fucking times. Using Mid Journey to post pictures of herself as an angel, yeah. As an angel, uh, there we go. Yeah, she's posted. I'm not sure how. Yeah. Well problem is people trying to fuck with each other's lives. Bruce, for example, uh, Sabella's ex actually was able to get her fired from a job. Yeah, which he admits to in one of the. Uh, 
Yeah. Voicemails he left AOD recently. Yeah, because and then uh, bitched about not being yeah, because he basically he basically job. yeah he basically had called uh uh the district manager because the manager told him to fuck off he called the district manager and said oh Sabella's dating this violent felon who may or may not do something to uh, co-workers and the business the building itself so yeah um, I think Hoobs is in the background again. Yeah, okay, I'll let him in. Hey, what's up? <laughs> what not... is your picture? Oh, it's Trump in a wig. Um, <laughs> I think that's his. Uh, I think that's his uh, mugshot. Yeah, I'm not here to fuck with you, Nick. That's not my deal. Um, <clears throat> Sabella had it half right. I am a troll, but no, I'm not just for TGR. Uh, I fuck with everybody. I find people with thin skin, and I go after them and find out how thin their skin really is like Carrie, um, <clears throat> super uh, thin-skinned. Uh, I go after her. I don't fuck with you a lot because you're more fun to banter with. Uh, uh -huh. I got upset when uh, Sabella kicked me out. I was just bantering with you. I wasn't trying to pick a fight with you or make you look like shit. I just trying to banter with you because I actually have fun bantering well, with you. You got to remember at that time I was, going, I was dealing with a lot of shit. Yeah. And extremely yeah if you want to see how mean i could be i mean look how mean i am to billy i'm i think i'm mean uh, i'm mean i'm the meanest to Content. Yeah. All right. Well, I, you know, to be honest, yeah, I just don't know a lot of what's going on here. So apparently, there's a big war going on, and <laughs> we'll we'll keep our eyes on it. Maybe we'll have Nick in for a time to explain. And uh, Nick, if you're out there, uh, well, maybe we can set something up. I, I I have no idea. I got no idea what's going on, folks. Let's get back to the uh, back to the broadcast for this evening, folks. We got some Von Helton. Let's skip through this bullshit. And this is the end. See, it's funny as Vaughn, he he, think, he has said many times that his life is a micro microcosm of what's going on in the real world. Of course, he'd have no idea what's going on in the real world. But uh, it seems like as his luck gets bad, we're all doomed. We so, post thought provoking this eclipse. Well, let's go back. Let's go. Let's go back. Go and back. Just a touch. Oh, so it is so, folks. And good morning. All right, uh, here we go. Two fifty-three. He and ain't sleeping. Is this the end? Is this the end of all that is? See what uh, what the video didn't tell you is that allegedly this eclipse is like no other, because this eclipse is literally the three days of darkness, as predicted in paganism. Christianity, Judaism, Islam, all the religions of the world have predicted three days of darkness. Is this the end? Is this the coming of the destroyer? More importantly, you know, I, 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 was, I was watching um, Bill Gates and thinking about, uh, you know, how he's running around like a chicken with his head cut off, you know, trying to buy up property and, and, you know, store away food in an underground bunker and just all this stuff that the, him and these other globalists are doing, thinking that they're going to escape the destroyer. They are not. They are not. Their underground uh, uh, facilities will end up being their, their uh, uh, tomb. They'll end up being their grave. But that's out of my hands. See, I, I asked the gods of creation, now the gods of freedom religion, because we now have a new religion called freedom religion. If you don't know about it, go watch my videos on it. It's very thought-provoking. But uh, we have a new religion called freedom religion, and the gods of said religion told me, well in advance, the destroyer is coming. And I said, yeah, he comes every 37,000 years. He said, well, he's, it's, you know, yeah, he's, it, and that's true. And I said, now, wait a minute, though. This time it ain't our fault. This time humanity was literally chained down, held back, and controlled 
by a bunch of ruling uh, elites, family elite families, 300 uh, now, started out originally as 13, now it's 300. And these families literally control uh, everything that goes on. Uh, most of those families are of the Bolshevik persuasion. Uh, like it or not, believe it or not, I care not. <laughs> I care not. I really, I'm a poet and don't know it. Anyways, um, but yeah, so I'm I'm sitting there rapping with the gods about this situation, and, and they're like, you know what? You're absolutely right. We will not send the destroyer to destroy mankind or to judge mankind this time. And I said, wow, really? And they said, yeah. What we're going to do is we're going to judge these elite families because you're right. They have hamstrung humanity. They have literally held humanity back. Folks, we should be living like the Jetsons by now. In fact, we should be way beyond what the Jetsons are, were doing. As a, For those of you who don't know, the Jetsons is a 1950s black and white cartoon. There was a few color episodes, I think, also. But the original started out as black and white uh, from the 1950s. Anyway, meet George Jetson, his boy Elroy, daughter Judy. Anyway, Jane, his wife. Anyway, uh, the point is, is that, yeah, this... Um, this is uh, um, an interesting situation. Could this be the three days of darkness? Could this be the coming of the destroyer? You know, they say, oh, well, you know, it's, it, the sun is the sun is going to be causing an eclipse. Yeah, but it also could be the destroyer blocking the sun, too. <laughs> Hadn't thought about that shit, had you? You know, now if that's that's, you know, I don't necessarily subscribe to space. Uh, I know there's still people that do. Of course, Elon Musk is doing it for the money. But, um, you know, I don't believe space is real. And so you say, well, Vaughn, if you don't believe space is real, what about Apophis? And what do you think the destroyer is? Well, uh, you know, the destroyer is still the destroyer. I mean, you know, it still comes, you know, whether there's a spa whether space is real or not, the destroyer still comes every 37,000 years. We know this because we can dig in the ground and find all these damn civilizations, one literally one underneath the other from where humanity went, you know, the, the death angels, like, you know, the destroyer, whatever you want to call it. You know, the death angel uh, went through Egypt in the Bible. Remember that? Um, but I mean, you know, you go through the layers of ground and, and every, under every civilization is another civilization because, you know, the destroyer came, found, hey, y'all are a bunch of assholes. <laughs> and that's the end of you, you know. So. But this time it's going to be different. This time we get it. We get a reprieve. We get a second chance. So don't blow it, dummies. Stop being evil. Stop doing evil. Stop being a criminal. Stop whatever it is you're doing. If you're doing something evil, if you're doing something bad, if you're doing something dangerous, if you're doing something stupid, stop doing that shit. Here's your chance at a second chance. Because the destroyer is not coming for us. It's coming for these ruling elite families and anybody that uh, sided with them and you know helped them gain power and influence and what have you. The result of the destruction of these elite families is that all the wealth, folks, these elite families are hoarding 90% of the earth's wealth, literally. So when these elites are destroyed, what happens to all that wealth? It gets put right back out into the people, right back out into the population at large, which means everyone on the planet is going to have an instant jubilee. Millions, maybe. Who knows? It's going to be a shit ton of money and everybody on the planet gets some. That's the beauty of it. We all get, we all win on this one. We all win and their fake money is gone. Their power and influence negative. That is, is all gone. And, and, and as I told, um, um, oh shit. Can't think of his name. Anyway, the guy in the inter that inter you know that that I had you know that I talked to in the, in the video, I told him I said, um, you know it it you don't realize just how much evil and how much power is is holding you down, and once these elite families are wiped out and their evil influence over the world is destroyed, it may it may be a physical an actual physical 
uh, uh, feeling. You may actually feel the, the, the release, the, the freedom. You may actually feel the chains falling away and you being totally set free. For the first time in millennia, humanity will truly be free. That's fucking awesome. And according to the Bible prophecy, when that happens, you will look out your window. There will be hundreds, if not thousands of butterflies, all different shapes, colors, and sizes. And then you're going to be like, there's only one man on the planet that talked about thousands of butterflies outside my window. And it wasn't Kim Clement. And it wasn't anybody in the Muslim faith. And it wasn't a Jewish person. No, no, no. It wasn't even a pagan except me. And then you're all going to come to me and you're going to say, oh, my God, that crazy fool in Kentucky was right again. But that's OK, because by then. It'll be the ultimate. I was right <laughs> because you can't deny it. You look out your window. There they are in your face. There won't be any denying it. Now, will there? No. So it's going to be awesome. It's going to be an interesting situation. But now, could this be? Could this be the destroyer? Yeah. Especially if we have three days of darkness. Now, the like I said, the video didn't discuss the three days of darkness and and these ver the various uh, uh, news articles I've read. They're kind of being quiet about the three days of darkness. But now, allegedly, that's that's the deal. We we get the three days of darkness, which has been prophesied by every religion on the planet. I have not asked the gods about the three days of darkness. I guess I probably should have, but I just never got around to it. Got a square to it, but not around to it. Anyway, so I I don't know. I I haven't asked them about that, but I'm not I'm not worried, obviously, because you know, I haven't seen the destruction of all my enemies yet, which means I'm still going to be here. I haven't seen the destruction of all my enemies. I have not experienced the great and glorious future that will benefit all of mankind that they spoke about. I haven't experienced those things. So I'm still no, going to be here to say the things. As for the rest of you. Gozer the Gozerian has just donated $2. When I told Bond to choose the form of his destructor, I didn't expect him to hold up a picture of himself. Sorry, I was late hitting the mute. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I, and I'd like to just take a moment to appreciate the uh, the end of the bed. Though it hasn't increased as steadily. But if you take a quick... Uh, I'm referring, of course, to Mount Trashmore. It looks like something, maybe some possible build-up behind the door. Of course, we have the tatters of trash on the floor. The other side, God only knows what he's dumping over there. But slowly but surely, it's morphing into the single wide, folks. I just wanted to point that out. Well, <laughs> if you're doing evil, um, what do you want me to say? I mean, it's the death angel. It's the destroyer. If you're out there doing fucking evil, it, you're, you're toast, pal. Sorry. What do you want from me? You know? Well, Vaughn, you got to save me. Vaughn, you got to help me. I ain't got to do jack shit, bro. Sorry. You chose. Key word there. You chose to do what you did. And as long as you choose by your free will what you do, I can't help you. The gods can't even help you because they won't go against your free will. Demons is what goes against free will, folks. Keep that in mind for later. There might be a quiz on that later on. Just saying. Now, you say, well, Vaughn, is this also going to mean the destruction of Moloch and Hubal, who are, in con are currently in control of the earth? It very well could. It very well could. I'm not 100% sure on that, but it very well could. And wow, what a, I mean, if that's the case, that would just be, that would just be awesome. That would just, that would just be awesome. You know, now you say, well, Vaughn, you know, this kind of tracks. I mean, you got the river Euphrates drying up because they're damming it up upstream. So the, the, the Euphrates is drying up and we found this big under, underground city. When, when, the, when the Euphrates dried up, we found this huge underground city that had uh, uh, bars um, in, the, in the actual rock itself shaped like bars, like something is imprisoned in there. And, and, and according to some eyewitnesses, they were hearing growling and what sounded like chains moving around. Is it true? Don't know. I wasn't there. 
could be. I mean, you know, when when China when the Chinese people said there was there was a big ass lizard hidden under the, under a cave and it was growling and shit, everybody thought that was bullshit until they released the damn thing, <laughs> and it starts heading its way towards California. Then it's like, holy shit! No, there really was a big ass fucking lizard under the ground. Yeah, so. Yeah, that never actually happened. That just happened in Vaughn's uh, deluded mind so he could make himself a hero, if you all remember. You know, and then, of course, Nessie, you know, we find out later Nessie's just a trapped dinosaur. That's all it is. You know, but still, it, you know, a, a dinosaur that big would would flatten a city. You know, it, it would. It would flatten a major city. So, you know, it had to be it had to be dealt with. Sorry. But Vaughn, it was the last of its species. I don't give a goddamn. Yeah, because no dinosaur I'm aware of is big enough to flatten a whole city, for one thing. Uh, I don't even know why I'm pausing this. It's so <laughs> stupid. Do you understand that a 500-foot lizard would have crushed San Francisco, L.A., and any other city in, along the east, uh, west coast? 500 Coast's? feet, folks. It would have flattened everything no we don't need no huge ass fucking godzilla storming across the fucking united states no we don't anyways this but they're, they're everybody's being really quiet you know now it's interesting because what the news articles were saying cisco messaged me let me see Um, someone cloned me. Yeah, welcome to welcome to YouTube. <laughs> People have cloned me on YouTube a thousand times. You know, I mean, that's why that's why I got the fuck off of YouTube. You know, I can't do that shit on Odyssey. Odyssey will smack their ass. Anyways, um, now watch a bunch of trolls will make some accounts with my name on them. But see, the beautiful thing is, all I got to do is just <gasps> one click and they're gone. Because it goes straight to Alice. Donated eleven dollars. Blake Alice officially drained again. Get those hard drives. Thank you, folks. Thank you, Todd. You're making a dream one one step closer to a dream coming true. the The problem is apparently there's a seventy million year old dinosaur trapped in Lake Alice, and uh, so we're trying to deal with that. We're trying to get it moved back to Loch Ness, where it can breed with the other dinosaur. <clears throat> And every every penny helps us accomplish that goal. Folks, you can help by thumbsing up the stream. I would really appreciate it. See, Thank you, Todd. She's like, oh, you're impersonating one of our people. <laughs> Bye. It'll be just kind of like the dest the, uh, the destroyer, you know. They come along and say, oh, humanity. You're acting like a piece of shit. <laughs> and that's the end of humanity. And then we start all over again for another 37,000 years. But anyways... You know, getting back to the news articles, the news articles are telling everybody to have extra water, extra food, generators, candles, everything, anything, anything and everything that you can get. Now you say, Nick, I want to get you on sometime. We got to schedule something, maybe a Monday night or something. I got to get you on and get to the bottom of what the hell's going. You got your you, there's fights going everywhere. I can't keep up with it. I don't even know what the hell's going on. What the hell's going on out there, Nick? So Yvonne wins this eclipse supposed to happen. Supposedly it's April the eighth. I need G Man. Someone get a hold of but, G Man you know. now. I am sorry. Wilson has just donated two dollars. Fun single-handedly defeated Emerald Weapon and Ruby Weapon at level one. If you know, you know. Folks, folks. Now, having said that, it could also be a big fat nothing burger too. But then there's that gnawing fact that the gods told me the death angel was coming, that the destroyer was coming. So maybe this is it. Yeah, to quote to quote uh, Jim Morrison, "This is the end, my only friend, the end." You know, is this the end? Maybe. But it ain't the end for us. Because the destroyer isn't coming for us this time. It's coming for the 300 Lee families and their and their associates. And anybody that's doing shit tons of evil. You know. 
such as maybe a bunch of YouTube trolls that thought it would be funny to destroy people's lives. You reckon? Let's see. Cyrex, Trailer Park Elvis, G-Man, me, John, Brett. Just a whole bunch of people's lives you've, you've trashed, huh, guys? You've trashed a whole lot of people's lives, haven't you? And yet, to date, the FBI hasn't done jack fucking shit about you now, have they? That's a testimony to the FBI now, isn't it? Anyway, point is, is that if you're out there doing evil, and you know you're doing evil, my suggestion to you is that before April the 8th, you better clean up your motherfucking act. Because if that is the destroyer, you're toast, motherfucker. You're toast. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sit back. I'm going to fold my arms like this. And I'm going to go, ha, 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 ha. That's exactly what I'm going to fucking do. And the beautiful thing is, I don't have to do jack shit. Except watch it happen. You will see the destruction of your enemies. Not maybe. Not kinda. You will see. Over and over and over and over again they said it. So that it was pounded into my mind and into my heart and into my guts and into my being. No question about this one. You will see the destruction of your enemies. Well, obviously, if the destroyer comes, and as it turns out, my enemies happen to be evil as fuck. Well, that's that's the end of that now, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, it is. Hmm. Interesting, huh? Something to think about, trolls, isn't it? Now, see, here's the trolls. I'll give you the exact mindset of the trolls right now. That shit ain't gonna happen to me. I'm made out of Teflon. I'm, I'm invincible. Ain't nothing gonna touch my happy ass. Well, you know what? Even NASA says Apophis is real, and that motherfucker is coming. So, Take your Teflon bullshit and shove it right up your motherfucking ass. Right? Yeah. Now, as for the rest of us, those of us that are normal folk, just hunker down, man. Hunker down and, you know, just know that if you've got a, 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 clean, a clean mind and a pure heart, the destroyer's not coming for you not coming for you this time it's coming for those that are doing evil not coming for good you know those of us that are white lighters those of us that are doing good and like i said this three days of darkness thing man it's not just a christian thing this thing has been in judaism it's been in islam it's been in all the pagan religions all going all the way back to the beginning of time so there's a lot of fucking information on this three days of darkness shit now isn't there yeah so I don't know, man. I mean, you know, I can't, I haven't discussed this with the gods, so I can't say definitively 100%. But what I can say is that if it does turn out to be the three days of darkness and you've been listening to me this whole time, you know to have food in your pantry that is non-perishable, that will last years, such as cans of tuna. Cans of tuna will last for fucking ever. Yeah, a can of tuna, get, get a shit ton of cans of tuna, put that shit in your fucking pantry. Um, I think the shelf life of a can of, bug? I think the shelf life of a can of tuna is like 12 years or some shit. Uh, I called the ramen noodle company because, um, you know, the expiration date had occurred on my ramen. They said, oh, no, it's still good. It's good for another three years. I'm like, oh, shit, really? Of course, I didn't have the heart to tell him I threw it out by then because <laughs> it was expired, right? I thought it went bad. No, ramen's good for six years. So ramen is a good idea. Ramen, tuna, you know, let's see, what else? Um, yeah, just any anything you can think of that's got a long shelf life. Um, you know, you can Google that shit, I'm sure. Might want to Google it while you can. 
because supposedly uh, during the three days of darkness, there may not be any electricity. I don't know. We'll see. Thank God it's going to be warm outside at least. Can you imagine if this was a dead of winter and this shit hit? Oh, my gosh. That would not be fun. But praise the gods in their infinite wisdom. And 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 be clear. Let's be clear. Possibly the reason it doesn't happen in wintertime is because we're not being judged this time, only the elites. Because, you know, it could have. It could have come during the harshest days of winter, and it didn't. And, and you should be on your feet groveling at, at the gods, thanking them that we're not going to be in winter if if we do lose. Can you imagine? I, I, I have experienced three days without electricity. It's not fun. Okay? It's not fun. So, it behooves one to take my advice and prepare. Store up food. Non-perishable food. Yeah, lots of people have experienced three days without electricity, Vaughn. It's called camping. It's called camping. Hey, did you guys see the stream? I don't know if we covered it or if it's coming up in one. I saw it. it was, I was telling someone else it was like a dream. And I can't remember exactly what stream, if we've watched it yet or we watched it the other day. But Ravon was talking about one of his dogs outside has a big gash in its stomach and shit. Another dog, folks, is injured. I just thought I'd update you with that. Trigger warning. Store that shit up. Because anything in your free after three days, anything in your freezer ain't gonna be no good. You're gonna have to throw it out, unless you want to die of food poisoning, <laughs> which I don't think you want to do that, right? So yeah, you're gonna have to toss all that shit out after three days. Yeah, it ain't gonna be fit to eat. So that's where we're at, ladies and germs. This shit is real. Like I said, there's tons of articles now. Like I said, the articles I saw didn't mention the three days of darkness, but they did say you know, have, have non-potable water, um, you know, have a generator, have extra, extra supplies, med kits, you know, just the stuff I've been telling you to keep hoarding all this time, to keep storing away all this time. Your pantry should be full of non-perishable shit. At least to last for three days. And then we'll see, we'll see what happens. Praise the gods anyway. But it is not coming for us this time, folks. You know, just a few things on this. Uh, and I've been thinking as he's been talking, I didn't comment right away. But I actually do believe Von Helton is the type of guy that would call the number on the back of, like, ramen noodles or whatever, right? Now, I don't think it's called the ramen noodle company. I'm sure it's a parent company that, that makes them. But if there's some customer service number, this motherfucker would be the type of guy to call after it's expired <laughs> and ask if it's okay to eat it instead of Googling it. I do believe Von Helton would do something like that. As far as the ramen noodles, Von's got to think here. He's not going to have a means to uh, boil the water. Now, for anybody else, they could probably go out and make a fire and boil it that way. It was a question of survival. But we're talking about Von Helton. This is a guy that called 911 when he had the flu, right? So... I don't see Vaughn doing that. Now, remember, Vaughn doesn't have teeth. So, oh, to be one of the many flies on the wall to watch Vaughn Helton trying to eat dry ramen noodle with no teeth. Folks. It's coming for these elites and the people that do evil. If you're a white lighter, if you're a right-hand path, if you're, you know, if you're one that believes in the gods and trusts in the gods and not in some... Uh, um, spirit over there or some entity over there or, or whatever you should be all right just hunker down hang in there we'll get through this shit and it's going to be all right but for those that do evil well <laughs> uh, well what do you want me to say you know like i said you chose to do what you did okay nobody put a gun to your head and made you do it you chose to do the things you did it's just like these people down the road here Ain't nobody put a gun to their head and made them do what they did. They chose to do that. And I they're going to pay the price for that, too. I may not have to take I am sorry. Wilson has just donated $2.
The gods speak in Devon's guts the same way the black dude spoke in Andreas' guts. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Wilson. We do all appreciate that. See, I, I was trying to show some reserve. I was going to say him calling the ramen noodle company, he'd also be the same guy that would call, like, you know, the emergency just to ask anonymously if you can get pregnant by dogs in the bumhole, just out of curiosity. But I didn't say that. I could have said that. I didn't say that. And then, you know, you got you to gotta go, and, go and do that. Wilson. Take him to court. Of course, I don't know what the ramifications of that would be because if they pass on, I don't think I can get my inheritance back that, like that. But I, but I don't know. Of course, if it wipes out the whole fucking family, well, I guess I, I don't know. I don't know how that would work. I could probably make a claim for it anyway. I could try. I don't know. I, I really don't know how that works. I'll have to see. But, um, you know, like I said, is this the destroyer? It could be. Then again, it could be a big fat nothing burger. We'll see. There may not even be three days of darkness. There may not even be an hour of darkness. It may just, you know, pass in front a few minutes and then gone again. We'll see. But if it is the three days of darkness, <laughs> oh boy, uh, we'll be under those that do evil. Man, oh man. See, I don't, I'm not out here running around trying to destroy people's lives. I'm not out here starting a bunch of rumors about people. I'm not out here trying to steal people's property and steal their money and, and destroy their family and, and try to drive them insane and, and drive other people insane and steal people's children away. I'm not out here doing any of that shit. So I ain't got to worry about a goddamn thing. But those of you that have participated in those things, well, you got a shit ton to worry about now, don't you? Yeah, you do. And may the gods have mercy on your soul. Because I do not. And that is 30 minutes. And so we're out of here. Y'all have a pleasant day. And a better tomorrow. Bye. All right, folks, stay right where we are. We got more Von Helden. I know a super chat was put out there. It hasn't come through yet. I don't know why sometimes they're so late. Uh, but I will go up here, and I will say thank you to Tubin323. Vaughn had the Kentucky shakes, you troll. Yeah. yeah, he sure did. I know as soon as I get done reading it, it's going to come through, but I just wanted to make sure we caught it. Folks, more Von Helden coming up, but let's, uh, let's have a little palate cleanser. We'll be right back after these messages. You know how we do. We got a good rant for you today. Oh, yeah. Because I'm going like to stop turning again. for today's you stick at me with a fork. I'm all done. 2BN323 has just donated $2 through Super Chat. Bo had the Kentucky Shakes you troll. Rolling on the floor laughing. Thank you very much. I do appreciate that, folks. A little bit of emo. Fucked again. He's mm -hmm. mad. Mm -hmm. Emo gets fucked right over the right up the fucking asshole. We're gonna talk about Verizon in this video. And how they fucked me again. I'm actually gonna go to Verizon this weekend and I'm actually gonna stand outside their office and I'm gonna protest this weekend. I'm gonna go down there. Every fucking day for the next 26 fucking days. I'd like the CEO of Verizon right now because I'd like to give him a little bojango and tell him what I think about their fucking lousy service. Okay? Because Emo is done pissed today. They fucked with the wrong guy today. Like I said, try not to... Oh, I want I I want to I want to use certain words that I can't use. <laughs> One word starts with an F and ends with God. I want to use that word so badly today, so fucking badly. But I gotta but I gotta keep it clean, people. I gotta keep it fucking clean. That's right. Gotta fucking keep it clean now. Oh, <clears throat> I don't see no notebooks open. I don't see no scripts open. I don't want this video shadow banned. I want to make sure the motherfuckers at Verizon see this motherfucking video.
and how they can take the animated system and jam it up their fucking rosy American ass. They can jam their fucking uh, <clears throat> automated system right up the fucking asshole. Mike's, Mike's Verizon account <clears throat> gets shut off. Right, Mike's account. Mike's Verizon account gets shut off. Right, so I gave him my fucking credit card. Right, my fucking social security credit card, and I said, "Go, Mike, pay your fucking phone." Oh, to restore your service, Michael, it will cost you only ninety dollars. Okay, so Mike made his ninety dollar payment. Okay. Because that's what they wanted to turn the fucking phone back on. They take his fucking $90 payment. And they say, thank you for paying Verizon. To repeat the, <laughs> to read the confirmation number again, press 1. To make a payment on another account or another phone number, press 2. If you're done with the Verizon business, hang up. That's pretty much what the automated system does. So he hits the option to pay on my account. And he enters my number in. Blank, 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 blank. And then they said, how much would you like to pay on that account? The minimum balance that they wanted so my phone didn't get shut off. And I said, according to the Verizon on my fucking phone, it says $112. So he types that in. So that's a payment of $112 and blank whatever the cents is. I don't remember how much the cents was. He types my num number into the system. He types my fucking... <clears throat> Today, I pick up my fucking phone. <clears throat> Now have you figured out what fucking the uh, the F got to Verizon did? Have you uh, have you got a clue to what they fucking did? Mike, give me a phone. Give me a fucking phone. Jesus Christ. Because I'm gonna this is Mike's fucking phone right now. I'm gonna give you a clue on what they did. I'm sure some of some of my audience already knows what the fuck they did. account has been verified by calling from a recognized device. Additional verification may be done as needed. And when did that shut off? In a sentence or two, what are you calling about? Last payment. You can wait on hold to speak to a representative or our Verizon assistant can quickly handle this request and more right now. Simply click the secure link we sent in a text message to your device. Once you're connected to our Verizon assistant, this call will automatically end. See? D see again. Did you hear me say it to do that? It doesn't listen. The system does not fucking listen. Yeah, we'll have the pleasure of speaking with today. Uh, you have a pre uh, the pleasure of speaking with, uh, with the uh, second half of Mike Nelson. Which is Justin Nelson. Okay, can you tell me what the last payment on this account was? And I don't know why it gave me a representative, because usually they give it, give it to me in the automated system, but I'm proving my point that the automated system does not pay attention. Um, they're upgrade they are upgrading them um the system so um if you ask for a certain um information in the IP or it will send you directly to our representative. Okay. Yeah, we should have did that a couple of days ago because they they put the <clears throat> they put uh, payment that on this phone that was supposed to go to the other phone. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm seeing here the last payment was on the 14th. 
for um a hundred and ninety five dollars sixty four cents. There should have been fourteen of last month. No, there should have been one on the se on the second of this month uh, on the first of this month for a hundred and twelve dollars. Now you tell me you don't see that payment. There are two for um for the first of this month. So there's one for ninety-seven dollars seventy-six cents and one for hundred and twelve dollars forty cents. All right, so the second one is for a hundred and twelve dollars and forty cents, right? Yes, and the next one is for ninety-seven dollars seventy-six cents. Okay, thank you. That's all I needed to know. <clears throat> no problem. So you see what the automated system did, people? Did you just hear that? So it paid his ninety-seven dollar bill, and then when he hit the button and told him that he wanted to pay a, a pay on the Pay you and pay, make another payment on a different Verizon account and re entered the card numbers in my hundred and twelve dollars a payment went on his fucking account. So that means for the next twenty six days now, I'm fucked without a phone because of that goddamn cock sucking motherfucking star of a bitching cooking hallelujah fucking system. Ain't that nice? I told you I was going to be pissed today. Ain't that lovely? This is why you cannot trust automated systems so now for the next 26 days i'm fucked without a phone because where am i supposed to get this 112 uh, 112 dollars and 40 something cents where what am i supposed to go to have nemesis drop me off uh, drop me off at a truck stop somewhere and fucking hook on the street <clears throat> is that what i'm supposed to do because we know you're fucking Idiot trolls ain't gonna fucking bail me out. <clears throat> and this would have been the time that with this week, my YouTube ad revenue would have kicked in and I could have paid this phone bill. But no, the trolls lied on me, got me demonetized. <laughs> I am going to go down to the Verizon, the local Verizon office every fucking day for the next 26 weeks with a fucking sign that says, do not use the automated system. You will get screwed. And every, every Well, I mean, or you could have, when you had the girl on the phone, asked if there's anything that you guys could do because it just happened. And, uh, though I, if he says it's the first, I don't know. It was a few days old, maybe it would have been screwed, but he could have at least asked and explained the situation. But instead of that, he's just, thank you very much, hangs up the phone. Now I'm going to protest every fucking day. We rep every fucking Verizon representative that walks out of there, I'm going to tell him the truth how Verizon fucked me yet again. And I will go down there. Every fucking day for the next 26 fucking days until that fucking phone is on. Because now I'm pissed. They did it to me for the last time. Their automated system doesn't fucking work. Okay? And I'm going to make sure Verizon sees this video. Because I'm going to make an ass of myself. And I'm going to let it be known. Because I'm going to go down there with signs, banners, bullhorns, sound equipment. Whatever the fuck I can carry down there. And I'm going to make an ass out of myself for the next 26 fucking days. Because they fucked up! I'm sharing this on all my fucking... We're actually live streaming. I got fuck. Not only do I got fucking. Not only do I got fucking two YouTube two YouTube channels going on. I got fucking Rumble going on. Okay. 
I'm gonna when this broadcast is over, I'm gonna stream this on my movie channel all fucking day long just to be a fucking dick. I'm gonna go on Twitch. I'm gonna go on Kick. I'm gonna go on every fucking social media and every fucking social site that Verizon owns. I'm gonna leave them a nasty goddamn message. So I'm going to post this to Verizon's Facebook. I'm going to post this to Verizon's Twitter. I'm going to post this to, to Verizon's True Social. I'm going to surprise wherever they got. I'll post it to their fucking Instagram, their Snapchat, their fucking Reddit, their fucking Gimp, or whatever the Gab Gimp, whatever the. I am beyond pissed with this company. Beyond. So now, here's my insurance company wanting me to sign documents, documents, and I can't get on the fucking phone to get the code to sign into it so I can sign the fucking documents. So, don't know what to tell you, insurance. You're fucked, okay? Because that's the other thing I hate about phones. All the... Facebook, you got a link to a goddamn phone. Google, you got a link to a fucking phone. Twitch, you got a link to a fucking phone. D Live, you got a link to a fucking phone. Kick, you got a link to a fucking phone. Instagram, you got a link to a fucking phone. Cash App, you got a link to a fucking phone. So what happens when you get a fucking carrier that fucks up and you can't get the codes in your fucking phone? We gotta do this two-factor verification. We gotta link everything to a goddamn fucking phone. I hate it. I fucking hate it. Because we gotta link everything to a goddamn phone and we think that's the best security on earth. I hate that shit. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Thank you for fucking me again. <laughs> if anybody wants to give me a last Christmas uh, last minute Christmas present tonight, <clears throat> I let my boss, Frank Shirley, dragged in from his holiday <laughs> from his lovely mansion on holiday. Uh, Holiday Lane or Meadow Drive or whatever the fuck it was called. I want him right here with a big bow on his head so I can tell him what a goddamn cocksucking motherfucking son of a bitch and goddamn cunt son of a fuck cunt suck fuck fuck suck cunt cock cock fuck 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 son of a bitch that he is. Hallelujah. I wish one of you trolls would have had the fucking balls. <clears throat> To come by that fucking window and shoot me in the fucking head. Because I would have been fucking better off than I am now. <clears throat> I wish one of you motherfuckers had the balls to do it. I'm surprised some, some motherfucker hasn't done it to Rick Berry yet. <clears throat> we'll be right back after these messages. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I got my dog dog now. Just relax okay. for me, okay? I got my dog dog now. Huh? <laughs> and then I got a text in the parking lot. <laughs> Alright, just relax. Just relax. We're going to get figured out what's going on and then we can go from there. Yeah. Is it, is it, is it, is it, this one? Okay. Here, I don't want to, I don't want to hurt your arm. So, until we get figured out, we're just detaining you, all right? Okay. You just relax. Okay. Tree Tom 26. We've got him detained. Everything's calmed down. 
<laughs> we'll start with the three we've got. Figure out what we got going. Get fired. I got it. That's. There we go. Yeah, she's waiting. There we go. Would you be more comfortable sitting up? You can sit up. What's your name, bud? Daniel? Daniel, what's your last name? Larson. Take a couple breaths for us. The only way we're going to be able to figure out what's going on is if you can calm down and tell us, all right? So you need to take a few breaths and get to where you can talk to them. Daniel, what's your birthday, bro? Daniel, we got the paramedics coming to check on you, okay? All right, what's going on today? So, I just I just bought a dog, uh -huh. adopted a dog two days ago. And I'm, I'm a singer-songwriter and I got a massive internet fan base. Okay. And I just had some fan walk up to me over at the good times. Um, I was sitting outside <laughs> and just walked up on me. Okay. Um, I was giving my dog water um, because I was going to be staying at the Motel 6. They don't have a room yet. Okay. I was going to be staying at the Motel 6. I am currently homeless. Okay. So I don't have any money. Sure. Um, I pretty much spent all my money on the dog. Okay. Because I was going to introduce it as a um, as a guard dog uh -huh. for my popularity. Okay. And this person who I guess has a background in because she told me, um, drove up in the car, told me that she was a veterinarian and just randomly grabbed my dog from me okay. on leash. They just immediately ran to the car while I was still sitting down. I grabbed my stuff by the time I got over to the car. Okay. Um, with the dog. Okay. That I literally just spent all my money. Not all my money, but 99.9% .9 Sure. And I panicked because I just went to PetSmart and I bought $100 worth of stuff. Almost. <laughs> and, you know, I just, like I said, I just don't have a lot of money because I'm homeless. Where's all your stuff at right now? All I know is it's uh, in the entryway, kind of just right okay. through there. And I panicked. Um, I panicked because I'm homeless. Um, my popularity, I wanted to guard the dog. And it just, I was, I just freaked out. Um, I tried to come over here for help um, over to Walmart. I was just panicked. And, um, is that why you were hitting yourself and, and all that's that? That's why I was hitting myself. Okay. Because I was panicked. Okay. Um, I didn't mean to do at all what I was doing. I just came in <laughs> and just me uh, crying pretty much and just they told me to leave. I refused because I wanted to come in here and get, ask for help. Uh -huh. By that time, two people, two, two of the employees were just being overly aggressive, which freaked me out more. And I acted on fear. Okay. Um, that's All right. Paramedics are here. We'll, uh, we'll talk a little more after they get a chance to talk to you. And you said Daniel Larson? It's Daniel, yeah. Okay. And I didn't, I didn't put hands on anyone at first. Okay. This is Daniel. This is our self inflicted Okay. Um, he had, was started over an argument about someone taking her. An incident where someone took his dog and he panicked, he didn't really know what he was doing. Okay. Daniel, can I get some vitals on you? Yes. Daniel, what's your date of birth? Look at me there, Daniel. 
How did you do this to yourself? With your own fist? Yeah. Okay. And then, um, those, uh, the two guys over there. Off. Okay. And then by then I was already calling. Just I was following behind him, and he, and he started walking in front of the bus. Okay. And he was swinging that. Like, swinging a leash. Okay. And it just hit the window and whack. And so well, the guy was up. following behind him. Yeah. The man was following behind him, and he has a black guy, Hispanic man, okay. wearing a gray shirt and blue jeans. And he was like trying to stop him. Okay. And then um, that guy kept. They kept on going. Well, the guy with the black eye tried to get on my bus, and okay. he was just like, I was like, no, this is for the seniors. And he was like, well, I'm a senior. I'm getting on this bus. And I said, no, 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 you got to get off. Okay. And then by then I was already calling dispatch. Good. And then I called it. So they should be sending a supervisor okay, and transit police. Came back into the store, and then he walked back out towards the washroom. Okay. And he was about saying something about lo something being lost. It's about his 50, 60. Okay, is that, this may be separate, well, no, this is an RTD bus, it's just a senior bus out on the parking lot of Walmart. And the Hispanic male that I... I didn't see him in here, but okay. again, I run around all over the place. Sure, yeah. And then, um, when the customer called me, I said, I don't know if he's part of the homeless camp that's over, uh -huh. that, that's over here in the area. He goes, well, I'm going to call animal control because the dog's in distress. So they need to go over there and figure out what's going on with the dog. Because he was panting, I guess, a lot. This is probably the worst day to be a trail yeah. shepherd out. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and he was just, he said he was really hot. Again, when I looked at the dog, I only saw the top part of the dog. So he was doing something with the collar on the other side. Awesome, thank you. Okay. Yeah, yeah no I was trying to figure out okay. what happened. But they All were right. going to call animal control, you said? Animal control was going to be called. He goes, I'm calling them right now. They need to go assess that dog. And it was just, just a customer that came in the store, or was uh, it? Yeah, he said he was uh, he was in the store, and then he was going to drive to work, and he's in the area. But okay. He, um, I said, okay. Yeah, because they were, like, right here is where they were at, and then they kind of walked that way, and I kind of did my own so. Okay. Yeah, awesome. I didn't know if maybe they went over that way or where they were at. Okay. Were you on the bus when it happened? No, I was in there. You were? Yeah. You were safely shopping? Yes. yes. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Yeah. Were any of you guys on the bus? The bus described the other guy as having a black eye. The, the lady rolled up in the car. Where, was this at the PetSmart? So this was right across from the PetSmart. Okay. Um, I was sitting at like the picnic table area at the Good Times. Okay, that's like, right. You did, you did say that. And the it was... I know, I don't want to sound crazy with my popularity, but it was a fan, like, okay. you know, a supporter of my career. Do you know them? Um, I don't know them by name, but I've met up with them once before. Okay. And we got lunch. Um, she paid for my lunch. So, you know, I kind of knew her, not fully, but I knew who she was, what she looked like, and I recognized her. Uh -huh. Do you know a screen name or anything like that? I YouTube don't, handle? Um, my YouTube. Well, I know yours, but I, I don't know hers. Does hers, okay. Can you describe her for me? She was a white female. Kind of, I want to say mid-sized, kind of like you, muscles. Okay. She's um, wearing glasses. The glasses, um, I don't want to say were black glasses, but they were dark-ish. I okay. can't make it out. As far as what she was wearing, just randomish tattoos. Mm -hmm. You have music on Spotify, and I'm like, she just, um, like I said, um, you might be able to see it on cameras, her on camera. Okay. I'm not sure. But she just came around, um, as if she was going to the restaurant. She then came around, like looped, kind of like in a half crescent, kind of to me, 
she's like, hey, Daniel, you know, just kind of talking normal. Um, and it's like, how are you? Started talking. She just started coughing randomly. And she said, I just woke up not feeling well. I've been sick. And I'm like, over again. Started talking. Is your dog okay? And I said, yeah, I'm about to get some good times for me. And I'm going to get the dog some water. And she's like, okay. And just starts talking. And it's like in a circle right here. She walked it like one time, two times, mm -hmm. and then she started walking a little bit further, and I was just watching that, you know, because she told me to keep an eye on, you know, watching the, how the dog breathes. Of course, it was hot outside, so yeah. I believed it, right? I was just like concerned mm -hmm. myself. Leash, hook, my leash hooked to the table because she got brought her own, mm -hmm. which I eat. Noticed was a little bit weird, but it was, you know, I, I just didn't think about it at the time. Right. All right, so long story yeah. short, without, uh, you know, barely any money to his name, homeless, decides it's a good idea to adopt a dog uh, and spends the last of the money on the dog instead of trying to get a place. And uh, some woman randomly comes up and claims to be a veterinarian steals his dog, he runs to Walmart, and has a spaz out. I think that's the end of the story. Folks, let's move along. We'll be right back after these messages. Just a little bit more. We are live, and it is so. And good morning. Uh, 2.53. And is this the end? Is this the end of all that is? Is this... The end. Is this the coming of the destroyer? More importantly, you know, I, 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 <laughs> I was, I was watching um, Bill Gates and thinking about, uh, you know, how he's running around like a chicken with his head cut off. So this is basically what we just watched, but this is the fat photog cut. His perspective. This will link in. Nicely to the one we're going to watch with John and Vaughn in just a few minutes, folks. You know, trying to buy a property and, and you know, store away food in an underground bunker and just all this stuff that the him and these other globalists are doing. Thinking that they're going to escape the destroyer. They are not. They are not. Their underground uh, uh, facilities will end up being their their uh, uh, tomb. They'll end up being their grave. But that's out of my hands. See, I, I asked the gods of creation, now the gods of freedom religion, because we now have a new religion called freedom religion. If you don't know about it, go watch my videos on it. It's very thought-provoking. But uh, we have a new religion called Freedom Religion, and the gods of said religion told me well in advance the destroyer is coming. And I said, Yeah, he comes every 37,000 years. He said, Well, he's, it's, you know, yeah, he's, it, and that's true. And I said, Now, wait a minute, though. This time it ain't our fault. This time humanity was literally chained down, held back, and controlled. By a bunch of ruling uh, elites, family elite families, 300 uh, now started out originally as 13. Um, but yeah, so I'm I'm sitting there rapping with the gods about this situation, and and they're like, you know what? You're absolutely right. We will not send the destroyer to destroy mankind or to judge mankind this time. And I said, wow, really? And they said, yeah. What we're going to do is we're going to judge these elite families. Because you're right. They have hamstrung humanity. They have literally held humanity back. Folks, we should be living like the Jetsons by now. In fact, we should be way beyond what the Jetsons are, were doing. This is uh, um, an interesting situation. Could this be the three days of darkness? Could this be the coming of the destroyer? You know, they say, oh, well, you know, it's, it, the sun is, is going to be causing an eclipse. Yeah, but it also could be the destroyer blocking the sun, too. <laughs> Hadn't thought about that shit, had you? You know. Now, if that's, that's, you know, I don't necessarily subscribe to space. 
Uh, I know there's still people that do. Of course, Elon Musk is doing it for the money. But, um, you know, I don't believe space is real. And so you say, well, Vaughn, if you don't believe space is real, what about Apophis? And what do you think the destroyer is? Well, uh, you know, the destroyer is still the destroyer. I mean, you know, it still comes, you know, whether there's a sp whether space is real or not, the destroyer still comes every 37,000 years. We know this because we can dig in the ground and find all these damn civilizations, one literally one underneath the other from where humanity went. <laughs> but this time it's going to be different. This time we get it. We get a reprieve. We get a second chance. So don't blow it, dummies, because the destroyer is not coming for us. It's coming for these ruling elite families and anybody that uh, sided with them and, you know, helped them gain power and influence and what have you. Folks, they're, these elite families are hoarding 90% of the Earth's wealth, literally. So when these elites are destroyed, what happens to all that wealth? It gets put right back out into the people right back out into the population at large, which means everyone on the planet is going to have an instant jubilee. Millions, maybe. Who knows? It's going to be a shit ton of money, and everybody on the planet gets some. That's the beauty of it. For the first time in millennia, humanity will truly be free. I have not asked the gods about the three days of darkness. I guess I probably should have, but I just never got around to it. Got a square to it, but not around to it. Anyway, so I, I don't know. I, I haven't asked them about that, but I'm not I'm not worried, obviously, because, you know, I haven't seen the destruction of all my enemies yet, which means I'm still going to be here. I haven't seen the destruction of all my enemies. I have not experienced the great and glorious future that will benefit all of mankind that they spoke about. I haven't experienced those things. So I'm still going to be here, baby cakes. As for the rest of you, well, <laughs> if you're doing evil, um, what do you want me to say? I mean, it's the death angel. It's the destroyer. If you're out there doing fucking evil, it, you're, you're toast, pal. Sorry. What do you want from me? You know? Well, Vaughn, you got to save me. Vaughn, you got to help me. I ain't got to do jack shit, bro. Sorry. You chose, key word there, you chose to do what you did. And as long as you choose by your free will what you do, I can't help you. The gods can't even help you because they won't go against your free will. Demons is what goes against free will, folks. Keep that in mind for later. There might be a quiz on that later on. Just saying. Maybe this is it. The destroyer isn't coming for us this time. It's coming for the 300 elite families and their and their associates and anybody that's doing shit tons of evil, you know, such as maybe a bunch of YouTube trolls that thought it would be funny to destroy people's lives. You reckon? Let's see. Syrax, Trailer Park Elvis, G-Man, me, John. Brett, just a whole bunch of people's lives you've you've trashed, huh, guys? You've trashed a whole lot of people's lives, haven't you? And yet, to date, the FBI hasn't done jack fucking shit about you now, have they? That's a testimony to the FBI now, isn't it? Is that if you're out there doing evil, and you know you're doing evil, my suggestion to you is that before April the 8th, you better clean up your motherfucking act. Because if that is the destroyer, you're toast, motherfucker. You're toast. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sit back. I'm going to fold my arms like this. And I'm going to go, ha, 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 ha. That's exactly what I'm going to fucking do. And the beautiful thing is, I don't have to do jack shit. Except watch it happen. You will see the destruction of your enemies. Not maybe, not kinda. You will see over and over and over and over again they said it. So that it was pounded into my mind and into my heart and into my guts and into my being. No question about this one. You will see the destruction of your enemies. Well, obviously, if the destroyer comes, 
And as it turns out, my enemies happen to be evil as fuck. Well, that's that's the end of that now, isn't it? Hmm. Interesting, huh? Something to think about, trolls. Now, see, here's the trolls. I'll give you the exact mindset of the trolls right now. That shit ain't going to happen to me. I'm made out of Teflon. I'm, I'm invincible. Ain't nothing going to touch my happy ass. Well, you know what? Even NASA says Apophis is real, and that motherfucker is coming. So take your Teflon bullshit and shove it right up your motherfucking ass. Just know that if you've got a, 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 clean, a clean mind and a pure heart, the destroyer's not coming for you. Bug, you chose to do what you did, okay? Nobody put a gun to your head and made you do it. You chose to do the things you did. It's just like these people down the road here. Ain't nobody put a gun to their head and made them do what they did. They chose to do that. And they're going to pay the price for that too. I may not have to take them to court. Of course, I don't know what the ramifications of that would be because if they pass on, I don't think I can give my inheritance back. That, like that, but I, but I don't know. Of course, if it wipes out the whole fucking family, well, I guess, um, I don't know. I don't know how that would work. I could probably make a claim for it anyway. I could try. I don't know. I, I really don't know how that works. I'll have to see. But, um, you know, like I said, is this the destroyer? It could be. Then again, it could be a big fat nothing burger. We'll see. There may not even be three days of darkness. There may not even be an hour of darkness. It may just, you know, pass in front a few minutes and then gone again. We'll see. But if it is the three days of darkness, <laughs> oh boy, uh, we'll be under those that do evil. Man, oh man. See, I don't, I'm not out here running around trying to destroy people's lives. I'm not out here starting a bunch of rumors about people. I'm not out here trying to steal people's property and steal their money and, and destroy their family and, and try to drive them insane and, and drive other people insane and steal people's children away. I'm not out here doing any of that shit. So I ain't got to worry about a goddamn thing. But those of you that have participated in those things, well, you got a shit ton to worry about now, don't you? Yeah, you do. And may the gods have mercy on your soul. Because I do not. We'll be right back after these messages. Small changes, big wins. Bed, bath, and... Bad! We'll be right back after these messages. It's Ron. W... R O N G Ron What? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I can see my gray. So we'll check out a little bit of this. So Shani's not doing so good. Apparently a family member or something happened. Uh, we'll watch a few minutes of this. Uh, apparently Graveyard Flowers has put up a even more recent video of Rev Rambling, which might be a little more entertaining. So we'll watch a few minutes of this, see where it goes, and uh, you know we can always switch over to Rev Rambling. So, uh, yeah, let's do that. In my hair. Folks. I woke up with some really bad news today. And I'm... So my sister got a hold of me. You know, I sent her that cute little, like, um, video of the turtle on the little mini skateboard and chasing the cat with it. And 
my sister said, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but I got some devastating news. And she was like, your cousin Mandy, our cousin Mandy lost her battle today with drugs and I'm just really really sad and I'm really really sick of losing family members in my life like I don't this growing old thing it's 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 not nice Like my cousin, my cousin Mandy was a wonderful person. She just, she had a hard time with drugs. She has a daughter the same age as William. Oh, she, she has a 17 year old without a mom right now. My uncle, he, he lost my aunt. Like a couple years ago. And now he lost his daughter. And I just like. I just. I need G Man. Someone get a hold of G Man now. I am sorry. Wilson has just donated $2. Good gravy. Rick Silla was right. Shani is turning into Chris Chan. It's the merger. Folks, is it Chris Chan turn, turning into Shani? Or is Shani turning into Chris Chan? Or is it both? It's the Mandela effect. It's a whole bunch of things going on. CERN. I blame CERN. Folks, we'll just we'll we'll skim through this. I think we get the gist. It's a lot of this. She was like my best friend. Every time we be together, we just Oh, when's the last time you talked? I mean I'm not trying to degrade it, it's an awful thing. I hate even saying it. But let's be honest. Here, Shani. This is just content. Just Yeah. Me dealing with the loss of my mom and dad last night. Yeah, a lot of this. It's like 2020 hit, and it's just oh my god, death, look, death, 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 death. Look at her death, teeth. Death. I mean, I'm not shocked, but it's getting real bad. See that right up in there? That's we're gonna have a couple more teeth gone here shortly, folks. And then I get depressed, and I was like, get it out of the depression. Speaking of that, I've noticed it's like she's got what, some red shit going on. on the, I mean, I'm not trying to be that guy, but I'm just saying. Depression, and it's like. Shani's not doing good. It sucks. I'm like, oh, this stuff. Like, no, it's always about death. So we get this is pretty much what the video is here, folks. All right. Well, I tell you what. I tell you what. Let's uh, see what Doctor Rev has to say about the whole situation, the individual situation here, folks. Let's pull it up. We got we got Carrie here. Or sorry, <laughs> excuse me, Graveyard Flowers. What am I talking about? Uh, there was some ramblings from Rev like about an, almost an hour, but we're not going to watch that. This one's relatively quick. We'll see what's up. That's all we can do, folks. Oh, yeah, this is so perfect because I look like so fucking white trash for this. Mm -mm. So, uh, I'm going to make some fucking Peking dunk today. Okay, at whatever the fuck time it is right now. But I'm about to take a pot of boiling oil and just fucking fry this duck called August the Duck on YouTube. And I hope you get this fucking video. If any of you guys that watch, see this know him, get this to his fucking inbox because you need... We live in a country where I worked for this sack of shit organization called Burger King. And yeah, they're franchise owned and they're owned by individual people. So we can't blame the big corporate Burger King for everything that goes on. But I can tell you this, they should know what the fuck is going on 
in terms of the pay that people get, right? If you're a big multinational, in an international fucking corporation, don't you think that it should be known that the money that you're paying your employees, if you work seven days a week, 12 hours a day, that you can't afford a fucking apartment with one income? How the fuck is it that I can spend literally as much time as I fucking can at a single business and not e at least have a goddamn fucking roof over my head. What did August the Duck do? I'll tell you what he did. And I don't know how long ago he's talked about this uh, female Christian TikToker, and she's on YouTube and stuff. She's called a Chaotic Philosopher, and God bless her. And fuck all of the pieces of shit that hate against her. Because that's what they are. All of this girl wants is accommodation for a mental condition that she has where it's very hard, if not impossible, for her to be on work, at work on time all the time. It's just not something that she is menti mentally capable of. And it's diagnosed. Okay? It's an actual disease. It's not... Oh, I'm just going to say I have a mental disorder. She's diagnosed with this mental disorder. August the Duck comes along and makes every fucking excuse for the corporation that she works for to fuck her. This guy, this August the Duck dude, likes to, uh, loves to deep throat the BBC of corporations. Oh, I have no reason to like corporations, but I like some of the products they make, so I will suck their fucking pole all day, every day, because I'm capitalist fucking pig, sack of shit. That's apathetic to the plight of workers, that all they do is they want to make a living fucking wage, and that's literally what I said to this sack of shit organization. And I'm sorry, I'm not saying about a corporate, you know, the franchise that I worked at, in fucking uh, Dixon City is dog shit. Have no concept of how to, to make money at all. They were taking in $3,500 a week or something. Are you kidding me? But he makes funny videos sometimes about people who make shitty food. Yeah, that's fun. On this, he's getting absolutely fucking fried in a pan as a duck because it's wrong to say that a person that has a mental condition should not have accommodations for work. You know why? Because it's against the fucking law. It's against the fucking law to say you're too mentally ill to do whatever. If, 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 if you have a mental condition that is diagnosed, you are protected. Class. You're trying to work, which means... You are supposed to have extra, a little leeway for your conditions because you are tr attempting to work with a mental illness. You have rights. When did he say this? That's a really interesting question. That's good money? No, it's not. It is not good money. I'm working 12 hours a day every day. I'm making less than $11 an hour. That is dog shit. You're ma I was making less than $11 an hour. It's crazy. You can't even have an apartment. You have to have two people in the household working at that much to get an apartment. That's bullshit. But I want her to look real rednecky with my Raven fucking WW WCW shirt. Okay? Real fucking rednecky with a trucker hat. Because this guy's a sack of fucking shit. And he's encouraging businesses to break the law. This girl has a legitimate mental condition where she can't make it on time to work. Guess what? That doesn't mean you can just say, fuck you, you're gone. That you, she can now sue the fuck out of you, and I hope she does. I hope she finds a great disability, all that type lawyer, because that's what would be in the realm of disability. And they knock that fucking company for $10 million I because nobody will fucking employ me. Yeah, you got to stand up for the worker. If, you, if you're not Elon Musk, what the hell are you doing standing up for corporations?
You always stand up for the worker. What the fuck is wrong with you? Even as a capitalist, you want to step up, stand up for the worker because the worker bee is the one that makes the major money for the fucking stock price. If you're such a sack of shit corporation that you can't treat your own employees with fucking respect where they can actually buy a drink that you fucking make at Starbucks. Starbucks is a bad example because they actually pay. And they give you stock options and everything. It makes absolutely no fucking sense to not be for the worker, especially if you are a worker. You're going to defend fucking August the Duck over here. Well, I have a YouTube channel and I have a voice like this so I can make stupid fucking content on, and it's other people's videos and I make money. Holy shit. Yeah, what if your voice sounded like this? For real, oh, and this, you can't do a voiceover for nothing because you sound like this because you have a mental condition or you have something wrong with your jaw and you didn't make the money you do on your videos. Then you're, what are you doing? I'm flipping burgers now because your voice is gone and I don't have a channel anymore. You're a sack of shit. Put yourself in the position of chaotic philosopher that she can't be hired by nobody because it's an ableist, cocksucking, piece of shit capitalist society that hates the worker, that despises the person, that makes the system fucking function. As a capitalist, a uh, pig sack of shit, uh, entitled person with uh, stocks that I could live off the dividends and I was happy as fuck, entitled white person, I never thought about the worker on, on a deeper level like this. I always respected the worker and always paid big tips, $20 tip, all that cool shit, because I, I respected the worker. But I didn't understand that a lot of capitalists feel this way about the worker, that fuck you, you work at Burger King for 12 hours, but don't afford the fucking food. You can't, uh, yeah. By if buying meals every day for your fucking kids and your wife on that salary alone, and you're you're gonna feed them that saying you can't afford that. You're not gonna be able to make the rent the next month if you feed them that every night and they don't give it to you. Hmm. So August the duck needs to repent to Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, I saw in your video about her. She goes, Jesus Christ, and you pause it. Oh, you really can't stand that fucking name, can you? Well, guess what? You heard it just again. It's going to keep fucking hitting you in the face because you're a cocksucking piece of shit that thinks that people that can't provide for themselves should rot on the fucking street and die. What if you didn't have your nice little voice, dude? your real nice voice that you could go on YouTube and steal people's fucking content. You steal Kay's videos. Look at how disgusting this food is. I'm going to vomit. What if you didn't have your voice? What if you didn't have your sack of shit computer and a microphone to do that? Well, go join Chaotic Philosopher then in the realm of being fucked. You like that? You're fucking cooked, duck. Okay, some more drama there, folks. Let's get back to the show. We got just a little bit of Cyrax, then back into Von Helton. Like I said, there's a lot of things going on with Cyrax. And I can't cover it all, but the, uh, hopefully this next few minutes will encapsulate the whole situation we'll right for you, folks. These messages. You need to back off! Folks. What's good? You got haters on your ass. You need protection. Shadow Blade Investigations Protection Agency. Knock out those trolls with powerful MMA training. I have been hired as a debt collector. Get back what's yours from those dirty motherfuckers. I bet you're probably thinking, well, if you're a debt collector, who are you working for? Shadow Blade Investigations Protection Agency. On many grounds, I could have you arrested. And honestly, honestly, dude, you need to get a fucking license. 
and quit the bullshit. Don't get mad, get even. Shadow Blade Investigations Protection Agency. The past is the past. Creamy Cobra. And uh, I know what a lot of you are going to ask, like, and I get this all the time, do you consider yourself a low cow? No, I don't. Even though people call me that, I will never consider myself that. But I actually ended up getting this randomly in the mail, like, last week. Oh, nice. You got the golden low cow. Oh, wow, man. Which, which for me is like... Well, that's that's awesome, man. Which that's for me, like... Secular opi like, opinion, I think. For me, like, I get it. You know, I get that people laugh at me, whatever. What's up, everyone? Um, so, like I said in my last video, I'm not doing that 24-hour stream. I'm not doing that. <clears throat> but, I do have a question. Why should I give anybody a chance to get to know me? When no one gave me a fair chance to show who I really am as a person. Because if you ask me, nobody deserves that chance. There's very few people in this world that deserve that chance to get to know the real me. There's very few that deserve that. And those people that do deserve it have earned my respect. They didn't sit there and attack me. They didn't sit there and say that, oh, you're this bad guy. No. They actually sat down with me, talked to me one-on-one, -on -one, and actually got to know me. And didn't judge me. They saw the wrongdoings that I did, but they also saw what everybody else did. And they, just like every other person in this world has said, I am being targeted. No, like I said, that's neither here nor there. But, I'm sorry. Until N-Word Boy and William Goryhole leave me the hell alone, then I'm not giving anybody that chance. Now, if somebody would like to step up and do something about these two, then by all means, please do. Because, like I said on Marty's stream last night, I'm tired of being attacked. I am genuinely tired of it. And I'm sorry, but until N-Word Boy and William Gory Hole get dealt with, then I refuse to give anybody a fair chance. Because, like I said, no one gave me a fair chance. No one gave me a fair shot to show who I could really be. Therefore, in return, I'm not giving anybody a ch the chance to get to know me on that level until they have earned it. So, yeah. And with that, I also am going to say this. I am retiring from all social media except for Facebook. Except for Facebook. Because I am tired of being attacked. I am tired of being harassed. I am tired of watching my family be fucked with. Therefore, I am retiring. As a content creator. And on all social media. So please, nobody ask me to do a stream. Because I need to take time for myself. And I want to go back to my roots where I first started doing artwork and reworking on the project and that I started last year which was doing an art book full of my artwork and releasing it to the world. No, the kind of dark artistry sorry, that does just donated two dollars. Jason is right. As a fellow alcoholic, it's my fault that his silly bitch of a mother didn't leave him enough money to support Shanny. That is a good point in, in Rev's defense. Thank you very much, Wilson. I do appreciate it. Need to be put out there. So 
So with that being said, as of this moment, I am retiring. I am done. As a content creator, I'm done. I'm tired of people pulling me in different directions saying, oh, do this, no, do that, no, do this, no, do that. Like, no, I'm tired of that. If I had known that this is what my life was going to go and was going to come to, I would have never have gotten on YouTube in the first place. I really wouldn't have. Had I known that this is what my life was going to go to, then I wouldn't have gotten on YouTube in the first place. So, with that being said, I'm out. I am going ghost, and I do not want anybody from YouTube outside of my friend circle to reach out to me. I do not want to do any live streams. I want to focus on myself 100%. Because like I said, no one gave me a fair chance to show who I can really be. Therefore, I'm not going to give anybody that chance to know me. Because they don't deserve it. So, yeah. I'm out, y'all. Good luck to you guys, and I hope that you guys figure out what you guys are going to do, because I'm not going to be around anymore. I'm out, y'all. Peace. We'll be right back after these messages. Uh, you bye. mean when you're calling her bitch? What do you mean? Who calling who a bitch? Who's calling who a bitch? What are you yeah, no about? one's calling. I mean, your mother? Your mother's a I'm bitch, that's my for mother sure. A bitch. No, I never called my mother a bitch. What are you talking about? Vaughn called Alice a bitch on video. No, I did not, sir. Bitch, please! You know, now it's real easy to doctor a video to make it look like I did that, but I did not do that. Hang on a second, my mother's calling. Hello. Hello, it's time to get up. I'm up. <laughs> okay. Uh, come over, I need to talk to you. Okay. What, about what? Well, just come over. Just tell me, Mom, for fuck's sake, just tell me what you want to talk about. Um, I made a mistake of calling you, forget it. All right. Yeah. Love you too, bitch. That was one good thing that I did find out. So no, I did not call my mom a bitch. You're a fucking liar. Okay? You're a fucking liar. Love you too, bitch. Okay, folks. So we're going to switch gears here. We're going to end tonight off with going to Rumble. Let's, uh, as I was going live, they were actually live tonight. Something about Bit Bitcoin. I don't know if it's any good. I haven't watched it. Let's just refresh the page. How long is it? Eh, they're all about the same. I don't know if anybody watched this, of any of these. These last two, the TikTok one and the Bitcoin one, I haven't watched at all. But this one does tie in directly to the Von Helton clips we've already seen. So maybe we'll do that. And if you guys, I don't know, if someone's seen the other ones and there's something worth watching, we can do that for sure. Folks, since we are approaching the end, I feel it's appropriate, especially with the clips we're about to watch, to play this.
Why not? I mean, you got anything interesting in the news? I, I, I haven't been keeping up with what, what was going on. Well, um, you should have went and watched my morning coffee. You I know. did. I, I did see that at the morning. Uh, the, the, is the end near? Is the what was the name of the video? Is it end? Not the, is the end nigh? I think that's what the you call it. The end is nigh. Yes, sir. The end is the nigh, end is which nigh. it is. Which you know, it well, is. I guess the planet killer is heading our way. Yeah. Well, uh, we got, we got, um, We've got, um, um, yeah, we've got, uh, we've got, uh, we got two April, things headed our way, right? A planet April, April the eighth, April the eighth. Three um, days of darkness. We had. We got days the three of days of darkness, which ironically they're not even mentioning. They're just telling everybody, "Hey, get some candles, get some flashlights, get uh, extra food, get extra water." You know, uh, that's what they keep telling everybody. The three days of darkness, though. If you know anything about the three days of darkness, you know that's when the death angel arrives. Yeah. So uh, the, the destroyer is not coming. The destroyer is here. The destroyer is literally here. And uh, we'll be under those that do evil because uh, that's who he comes for. That's who he's coming for this time. He's coming for people that do evil, man. And uh, wow, you know, I, I'd hate to be somebody that's doing evil because you're in deep shit. <laughs> Just to put it mildly, you're in deep shit. Yeah. Because, um, you know, as the old, as they used to say on in living color, homie, don't play that. You know, you're going to be in deep shit and uh, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be very interesting. But um, but yeah, man, uh, craziness, you know, craziness. But it's, it's it's it should be a, it should be an interesting time. I told you 2024 man was going to be a wild ride and 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 it's proven to be true, man. It's it's coming to pass. Just like I said, it's all coming to pass. Just like I said, and these trolls, you know, ha ha, I'm made out of Teflon. Von Helen can't do nothing to me. Well, maybe not. But my God sure as fuck can. This destroyer that's coming, man, if you're evil, they're going to fuck your day up royally. So, you know. Uh, we'll be under the people that uh, think they're going to get away with anything because the gods don't play that, and they're not going to let you get away with shit. You know what? What's that old slogan? Evil, evil uh, has a season, and then after the season, that's it, or something to that effect. I forget the exact wording. Uh, so I mean, yeah, yeah. You, know, you only get you only get a little time, and and then that time is up, buddy. And then it's time to pay the piper, man. And uh, we'll be under those that uh, think they're going to get away with this shit because they're not getting away when, with a yeah, damn no. thing. Not I don't think so. I think a lot of people are waking up, too. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, they're not getting away with nothing, man. Not a damn thing. They can they can wish in one hand and shit in the other, as the old saying goes. Because that's about as far as it's going to get. Because they ain't getting nothing. Nothing but a hard time from the gods, man. The gods will give them a hard time, and that's what they'll give them. But I'm, uh, you know, Absolutely. I'm working I'm on, on me. I'm a, with you on that one. I'm working on me a new house. Whether you believe in the gods or God, plural right. or singular, you 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 can't unrot you can't unrot unrun. Well, what about a group of people that think they can? Yeah. What about a group of people that think they can defeat a, a deity anyway? That's I, you got to be real special, stupid. You, you know, got to be gotta real be special, real stupid for that. Stupid, yeah. yeah. Yeah, because I mean, you know, I mean, if I and if this, I these even people think these people think they and not only do they think they can outbeat God, but these people think they are God. You got Harar and Navarre. Yeah, you yes, know, you got Kyle Schwab, Harar and Navarre. Yeah. You got these people that are sick. That, that yeah, they, they, they say up. it openly. They say they're gonna exterminate people. Right. They're right. gonna exterminate the human race. Yeah, yeah. The age of humans is over. Here comes the age of robot. It is the, right, the age well, of AI. Yeah, they could take know. their AI and shove it. Probably. They, that's what they, these people think, you know. I know. They can replace humans. They th these people think they can replace humans. Well, yes you know, I, was, or no. I was watching I mean, something about, I was watching um, ancient Mesopotamian pagan religion. Uh -huh. And in, in, in ancient Mesopotamian pagan religion, there's these big gods and then there's like these little gods. And these big gods... The ones that like create and control the universe, they create these little gods right. to kind of work for them. But then Correct. they realize, well, we don't really need the big gods anymore because we're immortal and we have the same powers that they do. So they kind of revolt and give the fingers to the gods, kind of mm -hmm. like NWO people, these Illuminati cocksuckers who think they could do without them. 
And right. it just and then it says in the ancient pagan religion they got wiped out, and then mm -hmm. they made human beings, and then they made human beings mortal and capable mm -hmm. of death and disease. So mm -hmm. these people literally are like copycats of these ancient pagan Mesopotamian religions mm -hmm. who think they walk around thinking they are God, and mm -hmm. then they're better than God, and mm -hmm. they can tell God what to do. But let me tell you, or oh, God's in this case what to do. Let me tell you, that's not going to be the case. That's not going to be the case. It's like what Johnny Cash said. You can run on for a long time, but yep. sooner or later, God will cut you down. You buddy. You can run. And no, no one's going to say you can't run, but eventually uh, it's going to catch up to you. That's right. You and it will. Out, you can't outrun, outrun death. And these a lot of these people think they can outrun death. I mean, you mm -hmm. got Elon Musk. You got Elon Musk saying, not all, what we were talking about enough just two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Oh, we, I ha we have the technology... Uh, uh, now that I can just, we could just copy human consciousness to hard drives, solid state hard drives. I don't like, like, like that he idea. Got a tweet saying that, oh yeah, I have the capability. I have the capability here at, at you know my X or SpaceX or whatever, whatever the fuck he was saying. I think that's extremely you know, dangerous. Copy your personality onto a hard drive. Right. I don't know. I don't know what that even. Supposed I think to that. Be. I think that's extremely dangerous. And, you know, but Musk, uh, you know, I, I, I don't know where Musk is getting the idea that he can do that and get away with it because there's always a payday someday. You there's going to be ramifications for there's doing gonna that. There's going to be ramifications. Exactly. And, and you know what else? And, and this is why I don't, this is why I say Musk, uh, pardon me. He, he may not be the, 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 the good guy that we all say he is. He's also putting brain implants, you know, in people's heads. The right, first right. ever, and not just a month ago, human being, successful implant of, 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 of a piece of a, a, a silicone put in someone's head and right. now plug into a computer and talk to computers now. I mean, right. it's scary. It's, it's scary where it's, it's going. It's terrifying, yes. It's terrifying. It terrifying. Now, I'm not saying the technology can't be used for good. Just like, you know, when, when we used to have horse and buggy and then the car was invented, and everyone who drove a horse and buggy says, well, you know, I don't want a car because what am I going to do with my horse and buggy? And then eventually the car outplay, you know, out, you know, re replaced, outright replaced the horse and buggy. But that's right. a that's an example of technology that's that can be used for the good. Right. right? But right. I, I don't know. But I don't know how I feel about people being, you know, half technology and half biology. You know what I'm saying? Half flesh. I don't. I um, yeah. That's you know. Well, like I, I said, no, I like the video game Deus Ex. I like the game Deus Ex. There, but there's a line. I don't want to live like that. I, I believe. I believe there's a line you should not cross, and that's one of them. But you know, it's not up to me. Obviously, it's up to. Yeah. You know, it's up to. Um, you know. Um, it, it's extremely others. dangerous because anyone who knows anything about computers and technology. All you need is a one and a zero, and you can connect to it, and you can program it, and you can yeah. hack it. Uh, uh, yeah. th th what kids say, hack. Right. Uh, hacking is just another way of saying programming, okay? Right. You can yeah. be programmed. Yeah. Literally, you can be walking down the street, and you have bionic eyes, right? Let's say they mm -hmm. carve. Let's say you go blind. They cut your flesh eyeballs out, and they put in machine eyeballs. Right. Some little tweeb, some, Ru some Russian hacker or some Chinese hacker, he hacks your eyeballs. To make you see things that aren't there, and Correct. then you go ballistic, and then you pick up a uh, pick up a gun and start shooting innocent people. Right. And you're thinking you're shooting cops that are breaking down your door, but instead you're at a church shooting up innocent people. They right. can program that into your eye. Correct. And you're thinking in your brain, in your mind's eye, you're thinking I'm seeing something that's going on that's not there. Right. That's how bad. That's how dangerous it is. We're not mm. giving, we're not just giving people the, the the cure for blindness. We're giving people the, the, the ability to do more than that. Correct. And I'm I'm compassionate and I'm a liberal and I say heal the blind, give people the eyesight. But if that's the way to do it, I don't know. I, I don't know. It's yeah. It's, well, know. you know, we'll we'll see um, what happens. Uh, obviously, you know, uh, it's it's a bad situation all the way around. But we'll see how things go. Yeah. It was also a movie. I was actually just watching this the other day. It's called Repo Man. R E P O A A M A N. Repo Man. And it's right. this guy. It's Forrest Whitaker, big black guy, 
and uh, what's his, the other guy's name? The guy that plays Judge Jude or whatever the hell. I forget the actor's name. And they go around and they, they let's say someone needs a heart. So they have a, a fake uh, machine heart and they put it in the person's body. But guess mm-hmm. what? If you don't make the payments every month in your insurance, these repo men come, take out your heart and leave you there. I can't live without a heart. It's too bad. You didn't make your payments. And you literally suffocate to death and they leave you there to die. Mm-hmm. That's what that's the that's the future we're gonna get to if we go mm-hmm. on with the technology. Mm-hmm. We're gonna get to the point where people can't afford anything, where they're gonna sign up for the insurance and they're gonna get fake eyes and fake hearts and fake livers, and they miss one payment, they miss two payments, and then the guy comes out to your house and say, Hey, guess what? You missed your liver payment. We need your liver back. And you we go, well, I can't back. live without a liver. Well, too bad. We're taking it. And they literally rip bad. it out so of you and walk out and you leave you that at eye. Mm-hmm. That's where this is heading. Yeah. And it's going to be, a, this system is going to be abused. This system oh, yeah. is going to be, it's going to hurt people and corporations and insurance companies and, 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 and Bolsheviks, let's call them what, what they are, or bankers. Yeah, let's call them what they are. This are going to use this to abuse everyday people. That's where it's going to come down to. They're going to say, oh, we're oh. going to give you new eyes. We're going to give you a new liver. We're going to let you live 50 years longer, but you're going to make out, you're going to make your Shylock payments. And guess what? If you don't make your goddamn fucking Shylock payments with 35% interest every month, paying up the wazoo, well, we're going to come and take it back. That's, That's right. where it's going to end up. That's, That's where right. it's going to be like. That's you're going right. to be paying tons of money for things and, and, and people are going to buy into it. All right, what do we got here? Uh, sorry for the rant. I didn't mean the rant, but that You're was fine. Rant. You're fine. What do you think? So that's like a typical. That's like a typical house here on Long Island. Okay, and it's going to be a typical house in four ways. <laughs> oh, wood, but a uh, hey, one entrance to the bathroom for every, and then make. I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. Ha, I've been working on the railroad just to pass oh, the time. Hey, what happened? What's that? Throw me you out. took yourself down. Yeah, I took myself down and put myself back up. <laughs> oh, took by the way, I got put like myself a, back control, up. Control left a nasty comment saying, uh, cause I said so I said to you, uh, I bought the uh no sugar Mountain Dew, and right, I was right. like, I was like, Vaughn, you told me there was no aspartame, and, and the troll's like, Oh, Vaughn led you wrong, he's alive. Look, everyone makes mistakes, and guess what? I actually kind of like it. I think it tastes as good. I kind of like it better than diet doc, uh, diet uh, Coke. Yeah. So well, I of think course, diet, diet Coke's got a horrible aftertaste. Not, it's pretty good. Diet Coke's got a horrible aftertaste. So this is yeah, this is so I want to say zero sugar Mountain Dew is much better tasting than Coke. Well, of course it is. Of course it is. Absolutely. But now that's still got the aspartame, right? Yeah. Damn it! I could have sworn Diet Mountain Dew didn't have aspartame. Damn it! I could have sworn it. Maybe I got it confused with Seven Up. Maybe Diet Seven Up is the one that ain't got no aspartame. I, I can look for Diet Seven Up, but uh, as you can see there, aspartame yeah, right I'm in the fucking middle, right, right there. Aspartame. aspartame, big letters. I'm looking right at it. Yeah. Ah, damn. But, I, but that being said, I mean that being said. Yeah, but I don't want you to get a brain tumor and die on me, dude. That's not cool. I don't want you getting a brain tumor and dying on me. That's not cool. Well, I'll, I can look in, I can look up Seven Up Diet and see what that is like. But it ha- you know what? I do like it because it has zero calories. Yes. So Diet Mountain Dew has zero calories, zero sugar. Right. So right. It, it's it's something that I can drink, and I, you know, as me being diabetic, I can drink it and not right, right. worry about and, my sugar. Spike. And it won't make you freak out and shit. Yeah. Right. The only thing I have to worry right. about is getting a nice big fat tumor in my head. But other than yeah, that, I'm yeah, okay. we we've heard this. Yeah, we don't want that. We've heard all I'm this. A, you know, that's going to be, that's what's going to be so interesting, you know, because there's probably a lot of people that we don't think are supporting these fuckers that really are. And yeah. see that, the, you know, obviously the death angel knows everything and they're going to know who's supporting these evil pricks. And you know we we may be surprised by who ends up dead from from this shit, because you know there's probably people supporting the globalist agenda that we don't even know about, and it's going to be really really interesting, you know. And uh, you know I defy anybody to try to stop a death angel. Okay, you're not stopping that bastard. You know it's not happening. Okay, 
So, you know, it should be really interesting. You know, I love these, I love these, these trolls, you know, we'll put a hex and try to stop everything that Bond Hilton is doing. Uh, what part of it's order to the gods do you not understand, idiot? You know, if it's order to the gods, it doesn't matter how many spells you cast. You're not going to stop shit. If something is order to the gods, it's meant to be and it's meant to come to pass. Get it up here. Okay. That's just the way it goes, bro. Um, but it should be, yeah, it should be very, very interesting to see who is aligned with whom, because it's going to be, uh, it's going to be an interesting time for sure. But, um, man, I yeah. will, will be under those that do evil, man, because if this is a death angel coming, uh, your time, your time here is, is short, real short. So, um, you know, see that, see, this, see, this is why I keep my fucking nose clean. This is why I ain't out here causing trouble. This is why I ain't doing drugs or alcohol or, or carousing around or causing trouble for people or, or doing shit on online to cause trouble because I know that that, that shit all comes around eventually. I got to use my brain for something besides a fucking hat rack. I know that shit comes around. Okay. Keep your nose clean. Don't do anything. I, I told my renter that today also. Keep your nose clean and you ain't got to worry about nothing. You ain't got to worry about nothing. If, you, if you're not His do, renter. You're causing trouble, you ain't got to worry about the cops showing up at your door. Uh -huh. Yeah, because he's a crackhead. He's a crackhead. Common fucking sense. How about we get some today? You know? God damn, yeah. people. You know, let's, let's use our brains, okay? But, um... Yeah, it's 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 uh, interesting. We live in <laughs> the old ancient Chinese proverb. We live in interesting times, boys. We sure do. We live in interesting times, man. That's for damn sure. That is for damn sure. We live in interesting times. So we'll see. We'll see what's going on, man. But um, damn, I I don't know. You know, oh, we just have to see. Oh, we just. We just have to see what's going on. What's going on? What's going? Yeah, what's going on? We'll see what's happening and uh, see what uh, what the gods have in store. Because um, you know, they're not playing. The gods are not playing, man. They're hardcore on this shit. And you better get it up here that they're hardcore, okay? Because they're not fucking around. But you know. But anyways, back to the good shit. My little bungalow here. I'm working on him. I guess it's a bungalow. I don't know. They're cut the day. This three days of darkness shit. You know, it's got everybody spooked. I reckon. Yeah. It's got everybody spooked. Cause I mean, every fucking body's talked about the three days of darkness. You know, everybody knows about that shit. So it's going to be real interesting to see what happens. Cause I mean, you know, supposedly it happened in ancient Egypt and all the firstborn in Egypt died but he just dropped dead so uh hmm it's gonna be interesting it's gonna be real interesting so uh you know what's gonna happen well i don't know the gods have not said i'm not gonna tell you anything unless i get the official word and i ain't got no official shit yet so but i'll tell you what i am gonna do john i'm gonna go make me some burgers dude That's okay what i'm gonna do i'll make me some burgers man Hey. All right, I'll, uh, I'll hold on the fort. Hey, here's an idea, John. Let's do a live stream, and right in the middle of it, almost exactly, I'll just disappear and go make, like, burgers. Right? Because that... Uh, we'll go by the propaganda. I don't want to... I want to keep watching more of this one, because this might be the one where... I, I swear to God it was in a fever dream, where Vaughn was talking about uh, one of the outside dogs getting a big gash on its belly. And I can't remember if it's from a stream that we already covered or if it was me previewing this one. Gal, I can't remember. 40 Folks. years, 50 years. I mean, I remember in high school, we had no faggots. We had one kid that was like a closet wow. fag. Wow. Wow. He was hooking up the ass. Uh oh. But we had none of these fucking LGBT fucking Q people. Uh, J dubs. I'm not even going to say it. Especially not no transgenders. We didn't have people fucking chopping up their genitals. Bon, what's going on? Where's the burger? Wow. I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm working um, on it. Yeah, I, I'm, I've got to... 
Well, I'm working on it. <laughs> but anyways, um, but what yeah, were you going to uh, say? Uh, well, actually, I forgot what I was going to say. But anyway, I was talking about how the Democrats are destroying us with, uh, sexually. Well, yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. They yeah. don't care. See, like I said, it's dehumanization. That that's the big thing is dehuman dehumanization, and uh, that's why they've got to be stopped at all costs because the end result is humanity will be destroyed. They push so much filth. What, who do you think pushes all the porn and all the transgenderism? These leftists, these Democrats, they, they're really destroying this world. They really are. Uh, let's see what we got here. Do we have anything here we can play for uh, until Vaughn gets back? Let's see what we got here. Um... Ah, ah. You there with the knife. knife. So uh, we'll scan through this, but yeah, I was reminded. I knew that uh, Nat had done a short, and I assume that's what it was. Todd just reminded me. Uh, dog abuse by the Vaughn. So uh, it's a one-minute little clipper clip here, folks. We'll put it up in case I do, you know, scrub past it or something. Because I knew I wasn't dreaming. I knew I watched it. I'm glad he clipped it. So let's see here. And how the doggies doing? How's uh, Sharpie and Sparky? Sharpie are doing great, and Big Dog and Baby outside are doing just fine. Uh, they, big, big Dog's taking the point where he just keeps crying all the time. He's been injured. He's got a he's got a gash under his belly there from something. I don't know what. And um, you know, I've seen of my you know, I some, you know, my encounter suit of friends. I said, well, if you see a way clear to fix him up, fix him up. If not, that's fine too. But um, you know, he had him he had him a nasty gash under his belly there. Be and how the doggies doing? How's Listen dog again here, folks. Puppy are doing great, and big dog and baby outside are doing just fine. Uh, they, big, big dog's taking the point where he just keeps crying all the time. He's been injured. He's got a he's got a gash under his belly there from something. I don't know what. And um, you know, I've seen of my you know, I some, you know, my encounter suited friends. I said, well, if you see a way clear to fix him up, fix him up. If not, that's fine too. If not, that's fine too. Just like kind of like you know, I couldn't even I couldn't get my kids back even if I wanted to. Aye aye aye, folks. Aye aye aye. Where are we at this crazy thing? Yeah, before high school. But let's just want to be able to have equality like you. After him, let me just put it that way. Fucking nasty, nasty. Let's skip through. Oh, we got burgers by the Vaughn, folks. Holy shit, my mouse isn't working. Oh, fuck yeah, let me put that up. Holy shit, my mouse isn't working. Oh, let me get, let me get it. Oh, <laughs> I got it. I got it. I got it. Wow, those are from fucking nice burgers, Vaughn. Yeah, man. Like further yet, lettuce and the cheese. Oh yeah. Yeah, buddy, and buddy, yeah, and buddy. Oh my oh, god. Good. Burgers by the Vaughn. Even the trolls That's and right, haters love them. Burger by the Vaughn, man. Burgers by the bond. Even the trolls and haters love them, buddy. Ooh. I'll tell you. Oh, oh there you go, Brittany. Becky, that was for you. Yeah, Brittany. I, Brittany ain't posted in a long-ass time. Maybe she quit. Wait, wait, she's on a hiatus, huh? I don't know. She ain't posted in a long-ass time. Maybe she quit. You know, her her uh, her uh, soy boy goy toy, uh, He's he, I guess he's bringing in good money on, on YouTube, so Thing of it is, YouTube is temporary. I mean, permanent. Yeah. I got a funny feeling YouTube ain't going to be around. I'm already hearing rustling in the wind about that shit. But YouTube ain't. Google ain't stuff will get broken up. I mean, you know. Well, see, monopolies are supposed to get broken up anyway. That's the law. Yeah. YouTube, uh, you know. I don't even know how you. I don't even know how do you break it up. I mean, Google search engines are like, what, 90% of the internet? I mean. You got DuckDuckGo and you have Bing. I mean, but how many? How much percentage in Yahoo search? But how many? I mean, how much percentage do they actually have in the market? That's what. That's the problem. That what? That, what see, that's EU the thing. Does, they got a majority. What the United? What the European Union does is when you when you buy a new computer, they they force Microsoft to install all the different browsers. You can't just have Windows Edge. You have to have Chrome. Um, um, Firefox, Opera, so you have a you and your and then it chooses what who do you want to use for a search engine, and you get to pick while you're booting up your computer 
which one you want to go to. And that's kind of like how they deal with the monopoly, that it gives everyone a chance to pick what they want instead of you being forced to pick, being picked. Uh, well, I, I mean, I don't know if that's even anything better. I don't know. I mean, the problem is Google. When someone says Google it, like it's like normal vocabulary. I'm I'm doing something at work, and someone goes, "Oh, I don't know the answer to that. Let me Google it." Like, well, who like do you think came up with that term? Situation. Who do you think came up with that term? Yeah, I did. Well, they bright, yeah, I'm famous for that. Google that shit. I'm famous for that. I oh, literally that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, do, do, take my own advice. Here's the, here's the irony. I literally put Google on the map and made them rich, and then they repay me by blocking me everywhere I fucking go on the internet. Isn't that isn't that ironic? <laughs> yeah. Isn't that ironic? It is. Yeah. yeah. Well, you didn't. Be, you should have became a leftist. Yeah, if I'd have been a leftist, man, I'd been set, wouldn't I? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. That'd have been sick. I, I don't know if I could do it. I don't know if I could sell out my. Morals I, I could. I couldn't them. sell out. Yeah, no fucking way. I couldn't do it. It was too way too uh, much how's patriotism. The huh? How's the burgers? Oh yeah, it looks. good. I could smell it. It looks good from here, man. Oh man, you have no idea. I gotta give. I gotta give credit where credits due. I always say that, folks. Uh. You know, Vaughn goes at those burgers pretty good for a guy who doesn't have fucking teeth. You know? You know what I'm craving now that I see you eating the burgers? I'm craving some White Castles now. Come within a hair buying some White Castles. But all they had left was jalapeno. <laughs> it's like, oh. damn! Oh, the well. jalapeno ones aren't that bad. So yeah, um, my curly fries are still in the oven. Oh, curly fries in the oven, nice. Yeah, I, I gotta wait till about ten till. Don't Bacon cheddar curly fries. So uh, I'm gonna assume I'm gonna make a prediction here since Vaughn is uh, you know wiping his hands with the napkin. I'm thinking this is where the dog talk comes up. Maybe we get a little more, a little more here. Dogs are right. And can I get something? I said I'd be a curly fry when they get done. But when I take them out of the oven, I gotta let them cool. So, it's gonna be and how the dog is doing? How's uh, Sharpie and Sparky? Uh, Sharpie, Sharpie and Floppy. And Sharpie and Floppy are doing great, and um, and Big Dog and Baby outside are doing just fine. Uh, they, doing just they, fine. Big Dog's taking a point where he just keeps crying all the time. Listen, listen, to this. He did. He did this with Midnight and stuff too. The exact same fucking thing. Oh, they're doing fine. They're just fine. They're just fine. The big dog just he's crying all the time and he has a gash on his stomach. Listen to this bullshit. And he wonders what like, you know, is there any wonder this man was completely incompetent in both looking after his mother and his children? Like this is just And I don't know what I don't know. I, he's he's been injured. He's got a he's got a gash under his belly there from something. I don't know what. But um and uh, you know, I've seen it. My you know, I some you know my encounters through the friends. I said, well, if you see a way clear to fix him up, fix him up. If not, that's fine too. But um, you know, he had him hit him a nasty gash under his belly there. Well, your doggies are always getting into something, aren't they? You know? Yeah, they're always yeah, they're dogs. They're gonna get into all kinds of shit. So you know, yeah. and I'm gonna yeah. turn on some fucking air, bro. I think it's yeah. What do you do? What do you do, folks? When, they, when your pet gets sick, it's part of owning the pet, right? You just let them get sick. If they make it, they make it. If not, whatever. It's fine too. You know, it would never occur to a guy like this. Like, if you're gonna own pets, you should be able to afford their care. That you may have to see a vet sometimes, right? Now the dog's been crying for days. Big gash on its gut, limping around out there, just hanging its head over the water bowl. You know, uh, it'll it'll pull out. It's going to hit 70 today. I swear to oh, God. Let me, let me tell you what. Let me, let me look it up real quick. It is fucking hotter than hell in here. It's feeling hot in here, too. I think it's, uh, it says it, well, it says 55, but it, it's, it's it, no clouds in the sky whatsoever. It's bright. It's, it's sun. all sun. Yeah, it's all sunlight. It's beautiful so out. 55 it feels more like 65 with the ass. It probably, yeah, because it's feeling really warm in here. I mean, I'm looking at my window on. right here, and, and the sun's just beating right on me. I mean, the sun is just right there, no cloud. Yeah, speaking of speaking of the uh, Weather Channel, 
I found this interesting. Maybe you'll find it interesting too. And this is from the Weather Channel, folks. And I, I'm like, damn, um, that's different. So uh, let me find this, pull this up here and let you all look at it. Um, I just found that fascinating. Let me see here. I got to take that down and I got to put that up. Hold on. Okay, there we go. There we go. When to expect the flip? Oh, fuck me, Vaughn. Is a fucking cold front coming through? That's not what I'm looking at. Look at this. When to expect the flip? Oh, flip. As, in the, as in the pole shift. Oh, my God. That's what that's saying, the pole shift. They're, they're talking. I, I want to put this back as look at John. John knows he has to play along. And these are one of these things where it's just so obviously stupid. Even John, like, realized what they're talking about. Obviously. <laughs> obviously, it's talking about weather patterns. But let's put it back. Because John clues in right away. Oh, as, in the, as in the pole shift. I'm gonna put it back a little bit. Down and I put... Oh fuck me, Vaughn! There's a fucking cold front coming through. John gets it. That's not what I'm looking at. W look at this. When to expect the flip? Oh, as, flip. In the, as in the pole shift. That's what that's saying. The pole shift. They're they're talking. They're they're. No, they're, they're not saying the pole flipping. They're the saying the temperatures shift. are flipping. Well, I know what I I know what I know what they're. There, it's it's a it's a double meaning, okay? It's a double entendre. It's a double yeah, entendre. Double entendre. Thank you. I was thinking of the word, but you know, yeah, the 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 temperatures are flipping to warm temperatures, but it's also possibly alluding to the pole shift, which is what Sammy was talking about. Now, I don't believe in the ball. However, however, see this where I just this is Vaughn Helt. You this is you. We are at the doorstep of the shit abyss right here. I'm giving you all a warning. Don't we could stop for every stupid thing Von Helton's about to say, but it is so convoluted and contrary, even to his own convoluted and contrary worldview. He doesn't believe in a glow, but he also is scared of the pole shifting. Now the pole, the magnetic poles do move and eventually they'll probably flip. That's a, that's a scientific fact. But Von Helton also, you have to keep in mind, equates this to the actual land mass flipping as well. That's what he actually thinks the pole flip is. Like the physical poles change, not just the magnetic fields. But of course, this, this has nothing to do with that. And even Von understands that now and feels kind of stupid. But he's going to double down and say that it has a double meaning. And we're going to hear... Just, I'm predicting some phenomenal fucking bullshit. You know, this is this is a bullshitter's bullshitter right here, folks. Right in the face of being obviously wrong, he is going to double down and spew out of that fucking dirty stink trap he calls a fucking mouth. Generous amounts of verbal diarrhea to try to cover his own ass. Here we go. Uh, the fact that, you know, Gaia... Could not have a great shaking or something, but from the gods. Because I'm like a oh, stuffed turkey possible, so. for Thanksgiving. Stick me with a fork. I'm all done. Tubian 323 has just donated two dollars through super chat. Jalapeno is too spicy for Vaughn's tender gummies. Mayonnaise is probably too spicy for his tender gummies. Thank you very much. I do appreciate that. I want to put this back to get the full con, the full context, folks, because. Wait again. What you were wit witnessing is a conduit, a sort of corridor, if you will, to the shit abyss. So the temperatures are flipping to warm temperatures, but it's also possibly alluding to the pole shift, which is what Sammy was talking about. Now, I don't believe in the ball. However, however, uh, the fact that you know Gaia could not have a great shaking or something by, from the gods. Well, that's always possible, so, you know, we'll see. We'll see. But um, I just I just found that fascinating flip. that they said when you do you could also take the meaning to mean uh, when do you expect the flipping to switch off 
to the three days of darkness. Well, that could be it too. Yeah. Yeah. We're mm -hmm. going to flip the switch off. They're warning. They're warning people in Texas have extra water, have extra food, have medical supplies. So we'll see. <laughs> this is going to be interesting, buddy. I tell you. May you live in interest. Bonds all froze up. That free internet. There you go. Literally went dark there for a minute. Hmm. That mm. was weird, wasn't it? Hmm. Very strange, man. Very strange. It's called cheap internet, Vaughn. It's not anyway, a mystery. there's the house I'm working on. Actually, mine is a modified version of this house because mine has a garage and this one does not. The garage is not going to be on the other side of the porch, obviously. There's a porch on the left. And then the garage will be on the right. But we're going to do it to it, man. But, yeah, it's kind of like a sideways Cape Cod type deal. And um, I yeah, said, that's no different. Cares. That's unique. No one cares. Right? And it's going to be glorious. Far Cry tomorrow. Yeah. The world from this. Ugh. It's a bird, man. Good luck. Wasn't it better tomorrow, I can't wait to see. All right, folks. So, apparently, the uh, one they did today was a little bit better. But we... We're uh, we've been, we've been going here three and a half hours. We got, we got to call it quits at some point. It just becomes madness, folks. Lulls madness. I don't want any lulls overload out there. But thank you for joining me this evening. We will definitely keep you posted. Further developments. We still got lull suits. We got crackheads renting out places. We got God knows with this Tom I need Davis guy. Someone get a hold of Chibia now. I am sorry. Wilson has just donated two dollars. Von describing the pole ship to J-Dubs sounds very familiar to Von describing the solar maxim to Andrea. Almost like he preys on mentally deficit people with daddy issues point zero. I think J-Dubs was getting all nervous. He's like, Von, we just talk about the pole shift and our poles. We shift our poles on Skype. <laughs> uh, we're on air, Von. We can't talk about this. But uh, thank you very much, Wilson. I do appreciate it. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Please thumbs it up on your way out. If you haven't, for whatever reason, subscribe. Maybe you'd uh, consider that. And uh, like I said, we'll keep you posted with further developments in the Lulzophere. It has been quite a, a opening to this year's season. Just a hint, folks, a glimpse into what we can expect in the months to come. And I will be here waiting with bated breath. And I'll do my best to get the info to you. So thank you very much. Uh, let's call it a night. And, uh, you know, 